We are live. Sookie is a mess. She is not ready. She is not ready to start. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? We have a new project tonight. This one is the Tamiya Type 2 van, which looks pretty fun. This belongs to Moose Jaw. Can you make this bigger? Yes. Sookie is being absolutely insane. She just put, she, and this isn't, it's not just a show. She's uh, always this. Animated. So and for, thank you again. Every, hey, Nicole did a thing as well. Oh yeah, I did. Nicole made a coupon code uh, because we're using Facity bearings because obviously to me, kids don't use those. Um, and she made, what is it? You made a coupon code. It's date night. Date night. There you go. All capital at Fast Eddie Bearings. There you go. She did a thing. Hey, we both have flannel on. I have my Chiefs flannel, so. I have a pro line flannel. Well. I mean, you know, where you go. So now the other thing is, is that while this is Moose Jaw's kit, Moose Jaw also spent the time beforehand to paint it. And I have not, I've seen a photo, but I haven't seen it in person. All right. So. Look at that. Oh, wow. That looks good. Yeah. That looks great. <laughs> oh, what? They must have a rag top because that's, it's not weathered right where that oh, portion is. Wow. Yeah. So we're going to have it looking like an actual vehicle by the end of the night. Cool. That is pretty cool. I was hoping there was going to be like daisies on it. Now, there is a pre-painted flower power one. That was what I was hoping it was going to be. But this is not that. This is cooler. I'm a little bit disappointed. So. Not weathered yet. It's Oh, it's rusted, but not weathered yet. Okay. So, I've never built one of the Tamiya M06. Um, he didn't paint it. I did. Yeah. RC Patina guy. No way. I was going to say. I didn't know that. It looked something like that. Oh, thank you, Brian. Oh, wow. It was a dollar forty nine with a unicorn. Thank you. <laughs> He's, he was using that unicorn one the other night over and over. It was, I don't know why I find it hilarious whenever the unicorn pops up. I don't know. I didn't. Well, RC Patina got even better. Static model? Really? Nope. This is an RC. Love the Bernie on the shelf. Where is that? How did you get that off? What is happening? Where? That's not actually here. <laughs> How'd you do that? It's, it's just, it's a computer thing. Dumb. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? Nice. <laughs> Plecko Nation gave us $5. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Let's take a look at that. Well, get off the shrooms. I don't, <laughs> I, just, I just don't understand how it looks like it's there, but it's not. Cause I, I did corrections to it to make it look right. Ooh, that's fun. Time to make a 3D printer one of the guys for the interior. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when will the ultra axles be available as separate purchase? Um, you know, it was a it was the thought that we were going to be able to do that, but we've just never been able to keep up with the kit. So right now it's just there isn't a, there isn't a plan on when that's gonna happen. So yeah, he does belong in the BW. Right. <laughs> ah. What's on the bench tonight? Hey, Nicole, did you know I eat large quantities of toothpaste? You know what? Learn something every... I didn't, I didn't hey. know that. Thomas says, thank you for his box. Oh, no problem. Are you making it out to Mount Diablo tomorrow? I am not. Oh. No, I'm... I'm staying pretty, pretty, uh, oh, patina guy did not paint it. Oh, wait, Moose, Moose Jaw did paint. Okay. That's what I thought. And he gave us five dollars. Thank you, sir. See, I was like, I think Joe did this. I thought he did. 
I'm just, I'm not going to say that I'm always the best at uh, paying perfect attention to my messages, but I sure thought he did. <laughs> oh my God. Relax, everyone. It's not politics. It's funny. No, no. <laughs> it's just a funny picture. Odd. Uh, rock jocks. Please make a run. 100, 100, 100. <laughs> Oh, I would like to thank Josh for talking about his 30-day diet. Guess who's joining you? Hey. Oh. Um, thank you, Alex. Is that a Lexan body? It is a Lexan body. It's painted on the outside and then detailed very tightly. Okay, so the M06 chassis can be built three ways. Short wheelbase, mid wheelbase, long wheelbase. We obviously need to decide. Er Oh, do you think Mahomes will play Sunday? Who are they playing? Buffalo, but he he's on the concussion protocol, so. Oh, let's so. Let's hope. So oh, I'm hoping that was a rough, rough kit. Was it? Yeah, Josh is vanquished making rift axle housings. Guess you'll know if they get announced. Clack RC gave us five dollars. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank hey, you. what's up? I've been been watching a lot of the monthly mayhems. Oh. Okay. Wednesday live chat was great. Hope is all well for both of you. Doing good. What's up with the laser nuts? Um, I honestly don't know. I probably need to find out about that. I need to. Oh, he was cleared earlier. I didn't see that. Thank you. Thanks, Sookie. There you go. There's your close up of Sookie. Yes, we hear you. We missed you last week, Dale. Uh, Moose Drow has a great Instagram post on the painting process. Oh, did he do the whole process one? Um, yes, he is playing. There you go. Just built this kit last week, but snapped one of the camber ball connectors and can't find them anywhere. Well, let's hope that now you built this kit. Which wheelbase did you have to build it at? Because I need to find that information. Did they clear coated it. See those reflexes? Josh, I have a rift on order. Should I add a front axle housing to the order? Maybe just for just in case. Mm -hmm. Just in case, we got to build the diffs first, but I'm hoping to get some info on what we're, I'm sure it's all in there. I can find, find it and read it. Um, The long wheelbase, Josh? It is. See? Good deal. Oh. Yeah. Going to miss you on Sunday night. Uh, I'm still going to do a live on Sunday. It's just not going to be CAD because CAD just was not, was not uh, grabbing people, which is understandable. I kind of always worried about that, but it's okay. We'll, we're going to try and do something that's a little bit more viewer interactive because that's what live is the best for. Because you don't... Not everybody. I don't expect that everybody watches all of them. Enough. What are your thoughts on Hobby Wing FOC and a Uno Mod Tin? They're, they're good set. They're, I mean, they're fine. I don't, they're not my preferred setups, but they're smooth. I just find them to be a little slow and low on power, but that doesn't make them bad setups. They're very smooth. <laughs> Jesse said he dug the cats up even if he doesn't have a 3D printer. <laughs> yeah, that's... Roast my truck Sunday. Yeah, we were talking about it. It's like, maybe I'll do that. And I'll just see how many subscribers I can lose every Sunday. It's a terrible idea. Yeah, it is. Right? Yeah. Moose Jaw confirmed. Long wheelbase. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Yeah. What's the difference in an MO5 and an MO6? One. Really? Josh, have you had to shim your rear axles on F9 Pro axle? First set of BP axles I've shimmed. No. The only thing I've ever... I, I'll shim the the pinion just to keep it tight but other than that no i don't shim i mean i guess it depends on the gear set you're using but i've never shimmed with a bp gear set or an axial will you be on sunday as well no no nicole will not be gets enough of me a few hours here on friday 
Um, did everyone get their Mega Millions ticket for tonight? I got, I got ours. Oh, sweet. If I'm not on on Sunday. Peace. <laughs> if I'm not on a <laughs> Sunday, call, don't try it. Don't try and call. <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll be making a... <laughs> he can put together RC cars and get the Bahamas or something. Right. Like, <laughs> it's going to take me a minute to get uh, my new streaming setup done in Jamaica. Yeah. So, Costa Rica. I think we go to Costa Rica first. Uh, we do love Costa Rica. Oh, thank you, Maserati. That's funny. Maserati. I saw that when it was in Kansas City. That's um, right. Did you know that vehicle, that truck got stolen? The Maserati. Oh, it got stolen. Yeah. Never seen again. Let's see. Uh, oh five is four wheel drive, and the oh six is a rear wheel drive. Oh, RC four wheel really? drive. Drive axles, you better have a bucket of shims. Hey guys, it's Jacqueline and Kevin from Connecticut. We are proud owners of Ripper number 68. And you guys hey. are awesome. Thanks for all the help you've given along the way. Thank oh, you. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jacqueline and or Kevin, message me on Instagram every once in a while. Thanks. So congratulations on the purchase. I hope you enjoy it. Um, Making fun of other people's vehicles. You know, I it's bad karma. Yeah. I'm not actually. It was a joke yeah. as when I said it the first time. Making fun of my husband, so I don't like making fun of other people. Yeah. Only because he that. knows that I love and I'm very proud of everything he does. So, <laughs> but yeah, no, I I would. That was a joke when I said it the first time. Yeah. I would I would actually not be okay with that. Um, Alex would buy a new Yaris. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we're all considered family just in case you win. Right? <laughs> yeah. After my family, yeah. There's after nothing we left. after we divvied it up between all of her next cousins, cousin cousins, real cousins, fake cousins. I'm currently printing braces for my Axial Six Six from Revolution. Um, how do y'all from Calgary, Alberta? What are we building tonight? This is the Tamiya Type Two van. MO6 platform. Let's see. Thanks, these Mauls and Josh. I ordered a DJI Mavic Mini. Ooh, that's a good one. I like the Mavic Mini. I have the regular Mavic, but I would definitely buy a Mavic Mini just because I don't really need the extra size, but the Mavic Mini didn't exist when I purchased mine. Um, let's see. If I win Mega Millions, I'll pay Josh to put a track kit on every vehicle he has. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but cool. <laughs> Voodoo Truckin's getting the black Rift. Yes. The Rift is honestly so much fun to drive. I know I had a I had a couple of issues. One on the trailing arm. One that the uh, hi so can, uh, that front axle housing. But it's going to be one of those things. Like there's going to be fixes as they go, and uh, you're still going to just smile like crazy driving it. Would you buy another Gladiator if you won the lottery? No. Uh, yeah, I think two would be good. One. No, absolutely. Maybe three. There's so many other cars that we would have that were not would not be anything to do with uh, yeah the first stop for nicole would not be at the jeep dealer again no no <laughs> no <laughs> what no no it would definitely be on my list you're an idiot that what? Would, that's ridiculous to have a the, like oh we have a billion dollars yet we're going to buy a jeep they're amazing Listen, you're not just a Jeep person because of the cost. Your Jeep runs deep. Oh, I hate Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. You're something. You're special. No. 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 Oh, hey, I got you something else. What? I got you a present. I got you scratch offs. <laughs> 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 not doing them right now. No, they can win. I agree. Um, 
Brian Sherwood gave us five dollars. Thank you. Too late. Hey to Brian, add your truck's on the way, by the way. Vanquish parts to returning oh. bill. <laughs> there you go. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, your truck is on the. I I have the tracking. I I know I didn't send it, but the tracking exists. I think it's in my phone. Colorado checking in. Just got from work. Are we building Das Auto? Das Auto. Deep through the mall parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> I um, the leg. I would ask and ask him this, but it's super obnoxious story, and it'll go. Through. What is it? What is it? So, say it. No. Where's it at? What was your first Jeep? My first Jeep was a 1997 Jeep Wrangler TJ. First year of the TJ. Great Jeep. It was. It was dark green. I liked it very much. I won't go any further than that. Just for Nicole's sake. Yeah. M2 by 8. We're going to use real hardware on this kit for Moose Jaw. Oh. We'll have to note that. Uh, do I have? I do. Yeah. Try and make. Try and replace as much as we can. BMW X5? What? Oh. What? No. I might buy it. I was gonna buy a BMW. I mean, no. M4 maybe, M6 possibly. I'd buy an R8. You would like R8s. And then I would have all the muscle. All, all Mopars. Mopar or no car. That's how we do it, right? I mean, I have a, a Grand National. Yeah. And just everything, all of them. Yes. Yeah. E forty six M three. Ah, oh, that would be that's. Still no idea why the hippie van is on the M five chassis. Uh, ben gave us five dollars. Thank you. If I won Mega Millions, I want the Witch Runner. <laughs> sure. It's already is. Oh yeah. What? <laughs> Do I need to box that up? No. There's things that still need to be accomplished. Experimental things. Real hardware is a great call. Those screws suck. Yes. The new vets are nice. Yes. Shocker, you didn't paint another body, says Matt. This is not my truck, Matt. This is Moose Jaw's truck. I'm just, he is allowing me to build it because I obviously can't keep buying pits every week. <laughs> if I win the Mega Millions, Vanquish is making me a ripper. Sure. You know what? You could buy Vanquish. If you want a billion dollars, you can have it. Like, make whatever you want. I, I feel like that's... Really? Is it? I mean... You don't have a price? Sure. Yeah. People are weird. How about a Lamborghini? I, uh, I, I mean, I feel like everybody need. Yeah, I mean, everybody needs it. Needs one. Everybody needs Lamborghinis. Matt's 50k giveaway will be done before you finish your trash. We'll see. It's a possibility. Is Never know. Overhead cam fix. I just switched to it. I've I've tested with it for quite a while, just letting it run and run and run, and I believe that I've fixed it. So. Uh, ben gave us another five dollars. Thank you. If I won Mega Millions, I also want Jelly Bean. Ah. Matt's silly little thing. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Matt's silly little thing. <laughs> yeah, I think Matt. Matt's smart <laughs> enough. He said we could arrange that. Ben, like, <laughs> come on. He's no dummy. Josh, Dale would um, buy Vanquish and make Josh be the new cardboard room boy. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Do you not like taking out the cardboard? I mean, I know you don't like doing it here, so. No, I just, I make a pile at the shop and then I say, Daniel, will you please break down the cardboard and put it in the cardboard recycling dumpster? Worst. It's not the worst at all. When are you going to be a retired person from Florida? Just. <laughs> oh, good night. 3.20 in the morning in Sweden. Been up and waiting for you, but I have to sleep now. Love you guys. We love <laughs> well, you. thanks for stopping in. Uh, first. My daughter, Michaela, says hi. Hello. Hello, Michaela. 
So. For the replacement hardware, are you still using plastic screws or the machine screws? Machine screws. Um, all steel, button head, some cap head, machine screws. M3. Hello. I should. Ah, uh, if I won the mega, I'd make him block an offer he couldn't uh, refuse on the unicorn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's reasonable. I think I think everybody would be game for that. All right, where is your bearing kit? Ben gave us another five dollars. Thank you, Ben. It's time to reunite cilantro with his long lost brother, Jelly Bean. <laughs> Hi guys, Hippie Friday. That's the hippie man. Oh my god, hey. I feel weird not being a Ken Block fan. Yeah, that is weird. Especially since you like drifting. Who? Alec. Oh, yeah. He can maybe he he might seem a little too mainstream for Alex. Oh right. You know? Hipster. I forgot. Someone on here does when they need to hire that one dude that stands outside Josh's window to actually pull all the weeds in the yard. That would be lovely <laughs> and very much needed. <gasps> <laughs> oh, no. I cannot tell you guys how excited she gets when you read my comments, especially if they involve her. <laughs> <laughs> I said that. That's my name. Sorry, Misha, I'm going to have a piece of stainless hardware in the middle of your mainly black. Must be have a big purse to sneak all those bearing kits out of work. Eddie knows. Eddie knows. There's a, and there's a coupon code. Yeah. That Nicole made. I did. I made Had it. Had it made. Or I told Eddie to make it. Yeah, that sounds more reasonable. You didn't know how I put Bernie on the shelf, let alone how to make a coupon code. Um, it's date night. Date night. All capital. 10% off. Let's see. Mm -hmm. What cutters are you using? Uh, that's just a set of, uh, I don't even know if what brand these are. They're made in Italy. C-H. It's Italian. C <laughs> Fragile. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're CHP, quality hand tools, made in Italy. Um, hey, Josh just joined the chat. Just got the DeWalt. Gyro Max thinks to Josh, what clutch setting do you recommend? Um, it depends on like the quality of the plastic. Usually it, it can be, it can get pretty high if you're going with a, you know, like a, a real hard plastic, but it's one of the things you have to try it out. Like keep it low, run it in. If it doesn't go all the way in, just increase it a little bit until you feel like it's just enough. Just don't go overboard and then back it off. Go creep up on it the first time. Um, tell Josh to turn the autofocus off on the overhead, says Matt. Ah, I'll have to look into that. Alex has a whole long thing about why he doesn't like him. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. Um, did you, I don't think you're missing bearings for me. No, there should be 12 511 fours and six five eight two point. I don't think those, oh wait, is that? That's 10. No, I know, but like this, that's a different, that's a bigger size. I do. Oh, wait, no, no. They go in a, in a carrier. That's bizarre. Okay. You're not wrong. Surprising. It's fine. Okay. She's just standing on the 3D printer. So some of the thing's moving down. Uh, Brian Shaw gave us $5. Thank you. I can send you a mystery kit to build that you can keep it. it has a special meaning for Josh consent Saturday for <laughs> mystery. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm always up for some, I will next. I think I have a couple weeks worth right now. Ow, 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 ow. Buried a staple. Jay and Nick finger. from Hobby Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Jay, Barry, and Nick. So thanks for stopping in. We always, I only ever get to stop in at Hobby Haven when we're back. Like I never get to go back up because Nicole's family lives down on the Kansas side. So I just never find time to go up north. So I, Hobby Haven, only place I ever go in KC. I like that shop. The one off 435? Uh-huh. Right uh -huh. on uh, Metcalf? Yeah. Um, 
best way to dilute, de oh sorry, de-glue, I thought it said diluge. I don't know where I'm, crawler tires, de-glue. I prefer the oven method. Nicole, not so much a fan. Yeah. But if you put them uh, in the oven, <laughs> I can't remember the, the temperatures. I've got them in a video. If you go look at my my deadbolt budget build, I did a beadlock uh, episode and I have the temperatures and stuff in the description of that where you can go look at that. It will leave a bit of an odor. A bit. Do it when she's not home. So at least she can't stop you. You're not. She's not gonna miss it. She's gonna know, but at least you'll and get. And don't leave them be, in there. So when you preheat didn't the oven, I, oven that next time, absolutely didn't happen. Yeah, it did. It did not. Brian Ratcliffe gave us five dollars. Thank you. Hey Josh, what brush motor would you recommend on a VP three gear transmission and TRX four axles with overdrive running twenty pinion fifty spur? Um, Crawlmaster thirteen turn. Our okay. ceramic bearings worth the money on RC. Uh, if you're if you're, go, if you're trying to like reduce all of the rolling resistance possible, either you're trying to go as fast as you can. Or the bashers like them. The bashers do? The armas. What? Yeah. I, I don't know why. Would have never, I don't, I don't know that market as well. So that's surprising but to me. But mostly go fast. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. The Tempest so. 225 for 20 minutes. I shouldn't have even said that out loud. <laughs> What are your top five first mods to do on a TRX4 Sport? I need ideas. What should I do? I did a 16 week budget build. So the first five weeks are the first five things I would suggest. So there's a whole playlist. Matt and I both did it. So you can see my first five things and Matt's first five things. It is off road from a fa famous maker and factory sealed box, a surprise one. Interesting. I mean, smell everything. Everybody smells everything. No, you are always like, was, I always wonder if you're having a stroke. Do you, do you smell that? Like, no, I don't. Um, so. How was your guys' day? Thank you, Colin Boudreau. Um, busy? Yeah, me yeah. too. Like, excessively busy. Those budget build-offs are great. Those budget build-offs are the biggest time suck. <laughs> yes. They're, it's Wait, like, no. No, no, no. Monthly the, mayhem is the biggest time suck. Yeah, uh, yeah. Matt and I kind of obsess a little about monthly mayhems. That was goddamn ridiculous, the last one, that six by six. It, it was. I agree. I spent... A lot of time on that. No, having a stroke, you smell like burnt toast. Or oh, I know. You always smell something. You're like, do you, sm do you smell that? Do you smell? And I'm just like, no. That's why. Just <laughs> just so you know, Matt, or oh. whoever said that. It, no, uh, I'm too much. If you <laughs> smell burnt <laughs> toast, you're having a stroke. <laughs> <gasps> oh, man. Farrington211 gave us $5. Thank hey. you. That I believe that's Rob. Rob. Uh, M Mountain. Oh, hi. Cannot wait to get up there. Um, what's the connection between you guys and Fast Eddie Bearings? Uh, I work for Fast Eddie. Yes, I'm I've been an, friends with. Fast, I'm an employee. I've been friends with Fast Eddie for a long time, and then when we moved out here, Nicole was like, uh, I guess "Maybe I should get a job." I need a job. And speaking of, somebody put on he. Told, he, I saw a comment come up on his last video. I was like, must be nice if someone's tasks for someone's wife to buy him all the toys he wants. And I was like, I work 20 hours a week. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> I'm not buying his toys. I'm not buying his toys? <laughs> <laughs> like, trust me. <laughs> uh, Matt says, they're all time sucks. Uh, ben, give us another $5. Matt, check your Instagram messages. Where can I find the specs on the bearings Fast Eddie uses in his kits on our website? Yes. It has. If you look it up, it has all of the... That's what I build the kits off of is our website. So. Uh, all right. It is. What? Rob. Hey, guys. Hi. Come on up. We will. As soon as all this is over. I got to get to South Dakota first. Oh, go see Cindy? Yeah. And Casper. And Casper? See Elena. Oh, that's not South Dakota. 
I'm saying I need to get to Wyoming and South Dakota first. Gotcha. Yeah. Wow. Wow. She's being a lot right now. Okay. These. My son Bradley would like to know Josh's favorite RC vehicle. Um, I mean, my VS410 Pro is my favorite, but the Tamiya Dancing Rider is like my, <laughs> like my second favorite. You're such a pro. I mean, it's kind of awesome. <laughs> we are not sending to the UK. No, currently us either right now. Yeah, uh, we apologize, but that tax is crazy. And well, it's not just the... We the, have to collect it and deal with it. Yeah, we have to... So right, if you don't... The whole thing is, is like after the whole Brexit, yep. uh, there's a whole thing now where businesses who are shipping from the US to the UK have to collect 35% tax on certain on items over a certain amount and then send it, pay it to the UK from the business and it's just oh. it's like a whole thing to be able to collect it and keep accounting track of it and it's um it's something that we're just not set up for yet we'll have automated systems eventually probably but right now we do not so it's it's something that is not easy for us to tr to handle no offense taken jesse ever you are correct nicole wouldn't spend my rc she doesn't like spending a boat buttload of money i don't you're right i don't <laughs> i'm um, you guys can throw away your tickets. I just drove to the store and bought the winners. SFL RC before. Yeah. yeah. Ours are right over here. We'll see. I'm, I know it's not a truck, but I'm finally, finally found and got a 911 Porsche body to paint the Seattle Sounder on it for my dad. That'll be cool. That will be cool. Hi, Josh. I just got an RC car. Scott Ray. Which one? Just a, just a car? Which we need more information. Tina Louise says, January 29th will be my 21-year anniversary. Congratulations. My husband says that it is the VP year and I should buy him a VS4. 10 20, I mean, 21 years. Sometimes, I don't know, I don't know Tina, but I'm just saying 21 years of putting up with things. Sometimes. But she, he said, yeah, shut up. <laughs> At Josh and Paul, all products are specific items. Wait, what? I don't know. <laughs> don't know what yes, that means. Yes, Sea Falls is where my one of my best friends lives, but I'm not crawling. I don't don't do this. But thank you. Um, when did you hit purchase on the litter robot yet? Uh, I did. It's a six to twelve month delivery time. You're such a liar. I'm just saying. You're such a liar. When's Nicole doing a build? Never. Um, is the tax affecting the Asian purchases for the USA? I don't think so. No, I don't believe so yet. Off-road rally hot racing is what Scott Ray got. Off-road rally. I just got here. What are we building tonight? Uh, the the Tamiya Type 2 van. It's the MO6 chassis. Shredded Cheese 20 says, I want to build a truck similar to the Baja Ray besides UDR. What are there any, um, are there any other trucks? I'm new to the RC. With a solid rear axle that are current. I don't know about solid rear, but the Mo, the Arma Mojave is got the style. It's not the same suspension, but it's very durable. And I think they're very popular. Are they? What? The Mojave. Arma Mojave? Um, I mean... Fairly? Not at all? Yeah. Is that the one-seventh scale? Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, oh, for collecting import taxes. I don't... It's. I think it... Is it products or... I mean, it's, it's, it's everything that falls under our HTC code. So... Um... Josh, you... Or what are your thoughts on the Kyosho El Camino? I think it looks rad. I've got the 69 Camaro of that phaser platform. So it's the same platform, it's just a different body. It's a cool car and they're fast out of the box even with a 2S. That's the one that I chase the cats with under the bed. Gotcha. Um, does Traxxas, do Traxxas beadlocks accept other makes of tires? 
I believe so, but I've never personally done it. So, hi. Are you coming to Axial Fest in Indiana this year? We'll see. It's something I, I would like to do. I'm, I'm keeping an open mind. I like Midwest events. They're some of my favorite. Yes, more Cratons and uh, Sentins and all those. Oh, how do you pronounce it? Tamiya? I go Tamiya. Tamiya, Tamiya, Tamiya. Tamiya is actually the correct way. We were told by Tamiya when we had them on <laughs> the live show, Matt and I. Um, I still call the city that we live in the wrong name, so. Yeah. I just can't. Hey, Jeans. Nicole, make sure Josh is following Frodo. Try it out. <laughs> Try it out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but despite front wheel drive versus rear wheel drive, the amount of parts shared between the M05 and M06 chassis is impressive. Just call it Tammy. There you go. Tammy. Tammy, Tammy. Tammy. Hi, Nicole, Silky, and Josh is checking in. Darwin. Thank you for checking in. Oh, my gosh. That's it? Just an oh my gosh? That, wow. Somebody, all Josh read me something in the comments section of last week's video when we were having, and it literally made my day. It was about the naming people when I Oh said, my God, it was the best story. It was hilarious um, um, about, about names, since I was named after a waitress. Um, yeah. It was just... It was pretty good. It was good. So yeah. whoever did that, whoever said that, that was funny. I don't know. What size is this? Very crawling tomorrow, Buttercup? Um, no, I have got some work stuff tomorrow. Unfortunately. Great. Unfortunately. Josh cancels STL Sunday before he makes a square maker. Dang it. <laughs> Why does that not feel tight enough? I'm going to put the 911 on a buggy and make it Group B style. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I like that. Oh, uh, yes. You harass your cats with RC cars. And my dog grass is my RC cars. Attach gears. For the money, what do you think of the WPL crawlers? Um, they're, I mean, they're small scale, you know, so I think that for the money, you, you, you're getting, you know, what you're, you're getting your value out of it. So if you've got 50, 60, 80 bucks to spend, then you get that a crawler that's worth that. Um, but you can still have a lot of fun with them. I really like the little D12, personally. Um, go Chiefs, thank you. I want to start my Tamiya Grand Hauler build, but I have no idea where my IC tools got to during the move. Oof. Oof. Good evening, just got the kid to bed, so now building hot racing shocks for the Arm of Granite while listening to you. Nice. Back when Rally was that mix of dangerous and fun. Uh, any tips for someone that is new to the crawler scene? Uh, don't fall for the put all the weight on it. Just don't add a bunch of weight. Um, don't try and raise the truck way up in the air. Try and keep the weight forward, low, and, you know, it maximize your clearances. But don't spend a bunch of money on a bunch of brass. And then crawl and figure out what you like. Hello from Lexington, Missouri. Isn't that where Lexington? Skydive? Was that Lexington? No, that doesn't sound right. Where's Lexington, Missouri? Isn't it down Armor Road, whatever Armor Road turns 210 or whatever that is? Well, oh, I think we skydived at two different places. I think I jumped in Lexington. Isn't that Kansas? I thought you were in Kansas. No. Huh. Oh, wow. Thank you. Oh. We both skydived in two very different places before we met each other. Yeah, I jumped a lot more than you did, though. Jim Daldorf gave us $20. Thank you, even though he has a Broncos. Thank you. Oh, Phoenix is here. MST CFX-W High Performance Scale Rock Crawler Kit. Any good? Um... I really like the MST bodies. I don't love the CFXW platform. The shafts are kind of weak. Um, it's got it's got like a really high motor placement. There's just a, a number of things about it that MST is really good at drifters. They're not got great at crawlers. So I would 
suggest otherwise. I've built it, but I just I I think that you would find better purchases. Rourke Ponce gave us ten dollars. You should come crawl around Crater Lake sometime. Thank you. Where's Crater Lake? Um, I don't know. Isn't there a Crater Lake like everywhere? Um. Vintage Team Associated RC10 Championship Edition bearing kit number, please. There are 270 listings. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. Um, yeah, you may have to. <laughs> you you um, can email Eddie, probably. Yeah. And he will be able to find that immediately for you. Yeah. Let's see, what kind of grease do you like? Uh, well, this is vanquish grease. This is a grease that we mix. So, uh, any reason to get a capra instead of a rift? Um, two very different things. The capra is going to be made for rock crawling, mainly slow. Um, so very different. the The rift is made to shoot up hills. For me, I would choose the rift every time. Uh, I just didn't end up loving my Capra. Um, a friend of mine told me the more weight, the better, but now I understand you're better off not spending a lot of money to add weight to the RC car. Well, and that's the thing that there's the, the more weight is not the better. Like that's a, that's an early, it's an early mistake that a lot of people make. Don't just keep adding weight. Thoughts on the SDX 10 three asking from Ontario, Canada. It's very scale. It's a, a cool trail rig. Um, I don't, I found things about it that I didn't love for like, like high performance type stuff. What'd you do? We've been there just north, north of Klamath Falls, about three hours north of Redding. We've driven past it. Yes. Agreed. Um, Maserati gave us $5. Thank you. Thank you Matt, sir. thanks for mentioning the Hackfab slingshot. I just put mine together and used a brushless best replacement for that M06 you're building. RC you next Tuesday. My favorite username. Evening, guys. How's it going? That was a great username. Yeah. What's your thoughts on the MK86KS G Wagon 112? Uh, I don't know that. I don't. I don't know that vehicle at all. I don't know who makes it, or I don't know that I've really ever seen anything about it. What do you think of the Hobbywing 330XR2 from Perth? Um. There's things about the axe system that I don't prefer. It's very smooth and it, it controls the throttle for you. So like when you hold it at half throttle, it always wants to make the wheels go half speed. Even if it gets in a bind, it puts a bunch of power in to try and keep it at that speed. I don't necessarily like that because I like to modulate the power, but it's just a small difference. Some people like the other way that the axe has. It's just a personal preference thing. It's still a quality system, which has some really nice features too, like Bluetooth programming. There's some very nice things about it. It's just not my preference. What do you think about the Red Cat Gen 8 Gen 2 OS? It's a good car. I don't like the Red Cats very much. The M06 chassis with the Volkswagen bus chassis is very cool. However, the body wiggles on the chassis. Tamaya oh, really? does have a fix for this. Have you seen the fix? I have not, but I bet we could also maybe design up something and Moose Jaw can print it since he bought a printer for Christmas. Aww. Everybody Let's needs a fancy blue gun. Do you uh -oh. think the Rift will be a fun trail buggy with a castle slate motor? Mm, castle slate motor, I don't think is a good choice for a Rift. It's got a lot more power out of the box than that. Um, I don't think that it's a great trail buggy. I don't. Thank you. I want a cruiser mostly for a shelf queen. I owned one and built it over 12 years. Okay. Uh, or the MST. So here is our funny Tamaya transmission. Definitely not one that I've built before. There's some really wide gears in it. I'm super surprised at how wide some of these gears were. So, yeah. You guys should come out to Topeka in September for holding a 20K plus to win with no prep event at Harlan Motorsports. Oh, drag racing. Oh my God. I spent so much time of my childhood at Harlan Park. 
<laughs> like so much i can't even tell you sunburn and ringing ears for days <laughs> nationals was always on my birthday so all every all my entire birthday weekend i was at the drag at heartland park <laughs> let's is it not this is it no it is not showing just that where's the other other part of this rich Latorno, I'm pulling the trigger on a VS410 Pro in a week or so. Anything I should upgrade right away? No. Um, I mean, I, wheels and tires are always the thing that, that people choose. Um, and I get that. The wheels get the job done. The tires get the job done. But they're, they're not what I run personally either. So um, making your choice of... Make sure you pick up a 20-tooth servo horn while you're at it. That's the biggest thing because it, it helps clear the chassis properly. So, any plans for new templates for building custom cages? Working on your Ibex goat scale to eighty. Plan on running BS axles and BFD trans. Um, so I did those those templates back when I was a civil engineer and I worked with a different type of CAD program, which was a little bit more conducive to it. Um, it's not something I've I've got back into in the like fusions and SolidWorks. It's just not as easy. Maybe in the future, um, you never know. I, I really enjoy seeing people use the plans. I also really like seeing people 3D print things um, that I've done. I think it kind of helped me, you know, no. I don't really use that stuff. Like I don't have a scale garage, but I always thought it was really fun to see people who did print them and then used them. That was my, I thought that was fun. It was much less likely to see people build custom cages than it is to hit print on a 3D printer, so. Oops. So what's the trick to get your Let's wife fix. to hang out with you while you build RCs? My wife wants no part of it. Um, honestly, I want no part of it as well. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's be real. <laughs> I would prefer to have no part in it. So I, I don't, I don't blame her. The trick is. The trick is that if you're always just in here, she's like, well, we got to <laughs> hang out sometime. So I guess it's now. Do we? <laughs> um, E6. It's that. Gotcha. What would you think of the shortening the rift wheelbase with bomber trailing arms? Um, I mean, it's still like the the width of the, the pockets is different. I don't know why you would, other than just because it's the only thing available right now. Like, if that was your, your reasoning, okay. But other than that, I don't see any reason to shorten the wheelbase. I'm sure people will, but I don't see that it's... Oh, apparently you said something wrong. What did 20 I millimeter servo horn, not 22. Sorry, that's 20 millimeter, not 22. That is Whoa, correct. Everybody got you. Whoa. Damn. Nope. He slipped. Get him. Oh, he's the dog. <laughs> Get him. Me, 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 me. <laughs> <sighs> Tyler Boss says, hey, Josh, I just pulled my hey. stuff out of storage after a few years. Starting again. Hope to see you back out there soon, building as we watch. Nice. Good seeing you, Tyler. Yeah. Uh, you've never met Tyler. Oh. No. Tyler used to crawl a lot. I mean, he crawled a lot, but it was actually, I think I crawled mostly with Tyler before you moved out here. Oh, here. Um, yeah. How did Vanquish come up with the name VS410? Vanquish scale, four wheel drive, 10 scale. There you go. It's very imaginative. The engineer named it. <laughs> yes. Pro or Ultra? Not sure which one to buy. Australia. Pro is my choice. Ultra, if you if you want portals, but Pro is the one that I like to drive the most. C eleven. That's B. Oh, where, where, F. where, Eric S. There's a great German butcher that makes great hot dogs. If you're in the Sacramento area, yes, please, because mm -hmm. I miss foreigners. Every time I'm back home, I go to a little German uh -huh. deli in Kansas City that. Why do I not see that? Street? Are you still um, C11? Working on the SCX24? Yep. Well, I about stepped on it earlier. It's, uh, we're preparing on it. I haven't started working on it so much as preparing to. Matt says you blew it, idiot. <laughs> Why? Well, I... <laughs> Me saying something wrong, probably. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Where? What's your recommendation on a beginner 3D printer? We got a 
Stratasys F370 Ooh. in our office and it has me itching to get one at home. Just pick up one of the Ender 3s, like the V2 or the Pro. I don't know, I don't own either of those, but they're both super popular and they're like 200 bucks or 230 bucks. Okay. Oh, Moose Jaw, we've been to Miller Meats before. The v Miller Meats? Yes, they're so good. But the German, the bratwurst, is like the authentic, oh, so good. I do not see the C parts tray. This is driving me nuts. Oh, somehow I set the bag to my left, but it's here. Yep. Have you ever heard of a custom builder named Colette Custom RC? I bought one of his trucks. Um, I like the name. Man, I feel like maybe I have. I might have. I might have just kind of heard it in passing, but. Um, Kazuma, Druzen. I hope I didn't butcher that. You build a lot. Do you craft at all? I'm painting plastic rocks with texture paint. Um, I crafted at Thanksgiving. You did. I made, I painted rocks with paint as well. He made one of those. A uh, landscape. Landscape, like the. First time ever. I had a lot of fun actually too. Yeah. He got, I got 8,000 pictures. And I so you got like, the live build side. So stop motion live and build. And I was like, did your, did your mom buy that? I, it, it was like something. It, it seemed like something that your mom would get. Like she get, always like wants to have fun activities for us when we're there. So I was like, "Did your mom buy that for you?" Like that was a cool idea. And he was like, "No, I bought. I just bought." I was like, "You're a weirdo." Like, I've never done one, and now this was like, it was a lot of fun. Ah, it was very messy. Yeah, like the plaster and the cloth and the paints. My car, RC car, is a Max Off-Road 4WD Conqueror 2.4 climbing car. It goes good in the snow. Where is this Sacramento hot dog spot? I mean, see, everybody wants to know now. Yeah. I think he says it. Nicole, did Josh powder coat the coffee table purple yet? Sure. I'm I just, I'm not up for that project. German I'm... restaurant in Camino, the Forester. Y'all ready for the new Top Gun coming out? Yeah. I, I feel like I am. I... I feel like I need to watch the old one. Don't you think? I mean, I'm not like the biggest Top Gun fan, but it was a good movie at the time. When I was too young to really. Josh, I always do that with to my kids. Where is the tray C? <laughs> Hello everyone from 518 Crawlers. I think Bernie, what was that? That was Sookie playing with the cabinets. No, Sookie was on my chair. Oh, then it was one of the other ones, playing with the cabinets. Uh, Phoenix gave us $5, thank you, to help with shipping on the Trail King. Ah, uh, okay. Dang it. Morant's old-fashioned sausage kitchen was on Franklin Boulevard was the best. However, they still have not opened since their fire last year. Oh, bummer. Well, where's the other one that you like? Is Proline... Ah. Uh, Is Proline Predator Compound stupid soft or is it just me? Uh, I find it to be too soft for my preference. So I I don't run the uh, Predator Compound. I run my, almost G8 almost all the time. Oh. Can't use a hex driver, of course. Hi, on the drive home from work, VW bus. Be, be careful. careful. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to lie, I listen to a lot of uh, YouTube while I drive as well. You do chat? I, I, oh my God, I can't. I can't. Never. I don't, maybe, I don't think I chat. Unless I voice to text. That would be the only way. You're dumb. Tamaya does have a fix for the body wiggling on the VW bus. The body wiggling is also on YouTube. Take a look at the fix. It does work. Moose jaw. Pull it up. <sighs> this this kit is is being built, uh, but it's not mine. This is Moose Jaw's kit. Moose Jaw painted the body. It's next to me here. I will grab it and show you all for any of you who weren't here earlier. Because he did a really good job. It looks very nice. My kits are always fun to build. They're always their own kind of... What's Matt always say? It's the Tamiya way. Or he says it's something worse. Like, it's the Tamiya way. I don't know. Hello? There we go. So... Pull out the body again. Hope Tom doesn't go Karen again. 
Is he referring to your mom's house? No, uh, to uh, Tom Cruise. Oh, oh, my bananas. Yeah. Here's some of the detail work that Moose Jaw did. Uh, are you using the screws that came with the kit or are you using stainless screws? Um, I am not using the screws that came with the kit. My son Trevor. And I'm not. Eye. Hello, Trevor. And I'm not using stainless either. I'm using black oxide. Um, but M3 proper. I've got a screw kit here in front of me that I've built. Um, <laughs> I like a little body wiggling. That's fun. <laughs> so you can see my screw kit here. Um, this is one that I built for. Ooh, got some wobble. Uh, I built to do the to my uh, king hauler and the trailer, so it's got all the sizes that most of my is use, and now it has worked well for this. I used it for the dancing rider, and now for Moose Jaw's van. I'm burning the late night oil here, building the MN eighty six K. Oh, the eighty six K. What's for dinner? I don't know. We're never good at, at planning dinners out on Friday nights. No, we're and it's a little difficult done. right now for us since we're being picky. Jesse Max here. Hello, hello. That would be a great body for the trail crawler truck. Be a little short on the wheelbase, but wow, your painting skills have really improved. Loose I know. <laughs> oh wait, you're talking loose job. Is that hardware from McMaster? Uh, it is not. We, this is from the hardware supplier that we use at Vanquish. Um, so nice thing is they come in two or three times a week and refill all of our bins. So I could just pick up some hardware from them. Is it raining where you are? Yep. Yes. It rained pretty hard today for California. Yeah. Not hard, you know. Josh, I am building custom Chevy Trail Boss. Any suggestions? Chevy Trail Boss. Do I know? I don't know that I know what a Trail Boss is. Is there a kit for a hobbyist that is complete for hardware? Um, so there's lots of vehicle specific kits. So you get like all of the, um, you get all the hardware for a build. Um, and then there's like bulk kits that Team K and K sells. That's just like here's a hundred of ten different screw sizes. Um, but there's not one that's like basically every screw you would need, um, or run into. That's a little different. Best place in Sacramento for hot dogs has been De Beer Garden in Midtown. This is awesome. Is that the new, that one with the, the, one with the containers? Container? I don't know. We haven't been out downtown for in quite like a, a while. year. Oh, huh. uh, we went to the farmer's market once early. When the farmer's you... market was still open? Yeah. Can you? Yep. You can go see what they're doing. The cats. Yeah. Here. There's there's cat noise. So anyway, we'll go close. Um, we are building the, what is this? Rear arms is what we've built so far. We've got that. And I guess we're dropping in the transmission that we built previously on top of it. Everything goes at a funky angle. Oh, this rotates. Oh, so this rotates out. This sets in and then pops together. Well, isn't that just fancy? Anyway, um, I drift one of my, so I need to, the Vortex are, are the Vortex. The Drifters are kind of fun, but they, I never like got, seems like a lot of the Drifter part is the very detail, um, you know, painting and modeling of, of the things that I'm obviously very poor at. I may still work with an HD hardware kit. I can believe it. Yeah. There was, there was 800 pieces of hardware in that there kit. That was fun. I like doing that. We lost our supplier, but that was a good, uh, that was good. Okay. Would it help if I locked up the center diff on my Typhoon speed Oh, um, I'm not, I'm not a huge, I'm not a very good authority on speed like that. So I don't a hundred percent know. 
Vanquish needs a JIS Phillips driver set for Tamiya kits. Ah, wouldn't, I wouldn't mind that. Pop on the right wheels in the in a gyro, and you've got a good afternoon. Have you ever had a Mini Z? Man, Mini Zs seem to be super popular right now. I've never owned one. Matt's got a handful, I but I never have. I don't do a lot of the Mini stuff. I recently have picked up more of the like SCX24 stuff and um, a couple of those Hobby Plus, just because I was actually pretty surprised at those. Um, but but that's it. M3 by 10. Buses now just want a Tesla motor. Perfect swap. Flathead. I'm thinking laser nut over rift. Any opinions? Mm, for me, I would go the reverse of that, personally. Anyone see the Vamp Volkswagen? The Vamp? I, I don't know what that is. M3 by 10. Put in an RC Grave Digger for my boy. HD kit was a great deal back then. The K&K &K quality is quite as good. Yeah, we had really nice screws. We had Swiss. They were Bassard, which is like a super nice quality screw. Um, the thing is, though, we didn't necessarily, we weren't pricing ours for like sale to distributors. We just kind of had that like direct to consumer pricing. Um, so God. we we kind of, I think, screwed up a little bit of like the retail market in that respect. I sat there and counted and weighed out little screws bag by bag by bag <laughs> for hours. And you were just my girlfriend back then. Oh man, I know. I was like, hey. You're doing, trying to work, work for that ring, I guess. <laughs> really? Worth it. <laughs> What's the best RC car out there? Josh will see. BS410 Pro. BS410 Pro. There you go. Uh, full disclosure, he works for Bankliff. But it's the best mix of quality and performance. It's just the best. It's the best. It's not even the most expensive one. If I was just trying to make sales, it's the most expensive one. It's just it's really my the best car. Um, what? I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> and American made. Yes, you are correct. Thank you, Burke. Any good videos out there for shoe gluing body parts together? Um, I don't know. Did Matt ever cover that? I have never covered that, so I don't know. But... If I was looking for a video on that, I would try and find what Matt did. Or I would message Matt myself and be like, hey, what am I doing here? When will the VS410 Pro be available? Uh, it, well, I guess maybe it's out of stock right now, but we constantly. Um, you can also always check A-Main, RPP, um, Horizon. Those guys buy it. Like when we, we'll make them and then they buy a bunch of them and then we ship them to them. So. You should be able to find them all the time. Ah, there it is. Joe wants to know, does Josh ever take his hat off? No, the top part of his skull is actually exposed. So if he takes his hat off, his brain gets dirty. The, uh, I used to never wear a hat really because I worked in engineering. So Monday through Friday, I had my hair combed and yeah. I looked all professional. And then I've rebelled against it now. Yeah. The pro is the best and we're to does the ultra stand um, a few millimeters taller? So Alex. Exactly. That's it. It's just, I don't like portals as much as straight axles. That's why I like, that's why I like the pro better. I just like, I like straight axles better. What's your favorite rig? Yes. Joe Dirt. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's your favorite rig when you built with a cage, not counting the ripper? Um, uh, the Woods Runner that's back there, right there. That one was my favorite. Second would be my uh, UC Fab Carnivore, which is at UC Fab, which where it's been for like a year. Should probably get that back, I guess. I don't know if he still needs it. I mean, you're so ingrained with white trash DNA that your facial <laughs> hair just grows like that. <laughs> 
What's the best camera to do film videos? Well, the best, there's a saying, I guess, for like video people that the best camera is the one that you have. So just start making videos. And then if you really enjoy it later on, get a little better one. I use a Sony a6400 here that works really well. I also use GoPros when I go out to shoot stuff. So you're going bald, not even in the slightest. No, going bald is not a problem. No. For me. I have a lot this of hair. This asshole has got more hair than anybody, and it's obnoxious when you have to share bathrooms. Um, what's different with the Origin kit? Um, the original Origin kit it was a, a lot of, you know, they had a three gear transmission that was done. Um, you know, more standard. It had different axles. It had metal bumpers that were machined. Um, there was machined sliders. A lot of those things were more expensive, but didn't necessarily improve performance. So we were able to reduce cost and improve performance by molding a lot of those items. Good morning from Dublin. Dublin. Another place we would like to go. I know. I wish we could see people that look like me. Like, be, like walk around and be like, oh, look, everyone looks like me. Like, mm. that'd be crazy. I'm like the tannest person here. <laughs> that would be exciting. <gasps> Fat chance of that. Do you think the SDX 10-2 Builders Kit is still worth it, or should I go for a 10-3? Uh, I love the 10-2 Builders Kit. I, I, I prefer the 10-2 still over the 10.3 as far as like my actual driving building experience. I like the straight axles more than the portals. So I think it's still absolutely a great choice. What about the 4 VS410 chassis conversion kit? It seems like they've been in on back order for a uh, long Those will be back uh, mid-February. Yes, those were on back order for way too long. Currently wearing a hat. Just got a buzz cut. Was going for Bruce Willis or Vin Diesel. Look, got Uncle Fester instead. <laughs> <gasps> Do you have a Razor Viper Ultimate? Never heard of it. No idea what that is. Mm. Oh, my foot's cramping. <laughs> Best camera for me is Kodak Disc Camera. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever thought about making a mud bog truck, a crawler set up with drag motor and tree? I've done I've done a number of mud focused trucks in the past and then I usually drive them one time and sell them. Such a I just I always like I like mud trucks. I like watching like I like watching mud trucks and then I end up building one. I'm like, I hate mud. <laughs> that is um I hate cleaning mud off. Fresh of. ingrained in you. Yeah. Is like, I love me a mud truck. Yep. Well it's because they're usually a high horsepower, supercharged big blocks with you know, like. I installed bearings. I did find that painting the body and applying decals was very difficult. By the way, we have a mutual. Ace. Do you know my friend, Jeff Dewey? Jeff Dewey. He probably knows his username. When my first son was born, we named him Jace David Robert Thomas. My dad looked at him and said, Jay Dirt. <laughs> <laughs> my dad was a bit of an as awesome. That is awesome. There's no, like, somebody said I have a love-hate with Joe Dirt. Like, no. Love. 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 <laughs> love. Good day, Jean Master. Going to the supermarket to Three, save two. my place. Save my place. <laughs> save my seat. Um, James Bush gave us $5. Thank you. ETA on BFD digs. Um, man, uh, I checked on those last week. They are still in production, still going through. We did a, we've done some like small batches just constantly, but they tend to like sell out super fast. Um, but we have more coming in larger batches soon. I just don't know exactly, hopefully, but it's probably going to be two weeks before any like larger batches are done. Mr. HS gave us $10. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I wish I could figure out what that was oh it's a nintendo controller oh yeah with the cool the uh thug life glasses coming down oh is that what that is uh-huh oh yeah mil real mud trucks are more fun because you can take them to the car wash yes have you picked up a lloyd yet no i have not <laughs> i will donate a new a28 with pipe 
I don't know what that means. That means either. Maybe it was a weed thing. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what that means. RC Adventure says I'm Jeff Dewey. What's up? Josh, I have a Galette Flex Razor with a single leaf spring. How do I convert that to a four link in Air Shocks? <laughs> what? Um, what? A Galette Flex Razor. I'm thinking that's Gillette, you know, like Gillette Flex, oh. like the ball thing. <laughs> yeah. I don't know because I only use Bic single blade oh razors. God. Yeah. I will not use double or any of the multi because they suck. Single blade, only thing that'll like cut through. Actually, I don't use a straight razor because I'm not that. It's I'm a not that manly. It's a nitro engine. <sighs> okay. I assumed it was something with like, but you never know. I don't. I mean, it was the first thing you went to. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, you didn't answer the question about four links and air shocks and all of that. <laughs> so I'm guessing he doesn't know, right, Davis? <laughs> I, I realize you don't have much use for them in Cali. What do you think about tire chains for winter fun in SDX 10? And would you put them on front, back, or both? Um, we used to live where we would have used those if, um, but they were never something I was interested in using. Um, it just wasn't something that I, like we'd go drive in the snow occasionally, but they're, you're never, like driving in snow in RCs, you're never finding like just the right amount of snow. It's either too deep or, it's you didn't so, know that. Why are you being such a pessimist? So hard. Like I just run the car like I have it because the snow is temporary and I don't want to feel like putting some buying something specific. Oh my there. gosh! Sorry, Mark. He's lazy. Um, Paul. Good evening, folks. I've been here. Just spent the last hour driving home and listening long. Thank you for waiting till you got home to comment and being fit. Did I miss anything? I was cutting carbs. Cutting carbs. I'm assuming carburetor. I, oh, why you? I think maybe it was just being funny. Oh. Hope everyone has been enjoying my attention to the chat. Mike James. <laughs> <laughs> Just hoping to see some rock jocks for the SCX-10 sometime soon. We've been making those too. Those have been going up in small batches, but small. There you go. My weekend plan is to chains for the tiny truck. It's getting icy up here. Icy. Oh, Matt Conley says, so have to get the little one to bed for early dance practice. Cute. Hey. Cute, cute. Um, oh, Mr. HS gave us another ten dollars. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Did he have another? You two do better combo than a number one at White Castles. <laughs> I don't know if that's a. Is that, is that a hard buy? A comp or, a, or an insult? A high bar to. <laughs> I hate White Castle. <laughs> White Castle's disgusting. No offense. I know people love it, but it is disgusting. And <laughs> I used to get so pissed whenever they would go to, they didn't have, they got rid of them in Kansas City. And whenever the guys would go to anywhere near St. Louis and Columbia or Columbia and Howard would get a 30 pack and or my, the truck would smell like B.O onion nasty patties for weeps <laughs> like let's see you'll drink fireball but not white castle no 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 just soldered for the first time and i'm ass any tips <laughs> keep practicing um pre yeah, put some solder on the tip of your soldering iron and then get the put some solder onto the wires and get everything flowing. It's about getting heat to flow from the soldering iron into the wires. So that's why putting solder on the tip helps. I'm currently working on my mud truck and want to change axles. Should I stay with straight axles or go with portals? Um, I mean, the clearance and if you're going fast, I'd probably stay straight axles. If you're Kind of mud bogging slow portals would probably be a bit of a benefit. <laughs> the case is great on the stomach. Thanks for the grease tip. Just ordered a container of Vanquish for my first kit build, Mr. Stony Love. There you go. I like it. It's great grease. Works works great for me. It's a crave case. <laughs> he said it was not an, it was not an insult, but <laughs> poutine is the way to go. That 
shit is amazing. We did enjoy that. Oh, yeah. oh man. Canada. I mean, gravy and oh, cheese. Fun of them. Wow, that's some serious dislike of white cats on a yeah, it's gross. I didn't notice that that was labeled MO6S on that page, so I built this short X. <laughs> Do you have any opinion on Danchi Ridrock for a first time crawler? Oh, I've seen that. Um first time crawler. It's yeah, it's it's fine. It's on the cheaper side. It you know, you kind of get the value for what it is. Um, if you're trying to stay on the a cheap side, then it it'll get that job done. It's something that's not going to be a long term car probably for you, but it's good to start. It'll it's a, it's a, the Horizon discontinued yeah. Vitera. Uh, there is no more new Vitera things coming. <laughs> Sorry. The screaming goat. Um, very good stream when you both come on just that tad more than usual. Huh, there you go. You're just a tad more. Oh, <laughs> Matt says, did someone say poutine? Did I miss a screw? I did. Was it hard for you to get your first 1,000 subscribers too? Yes. Oh my God, he's been doing this forever. Yes. If White Castle sucks, how about In-N-Out? In-N-Out's fine. I like In-N-Out. It's prefer not wait for six hours in line fine like people here think it is. That... Because the line is wrapped around the building and I'm like, it's not that good. I mean, like, it's, it's, it's not that good. It's pretty good though. It's good, but it's not that good. I wouldn't wait. Like it's, uh, I don't know. It's, it's ridiculous, the lines. I'm like, they, they have three things. How long could it take? Like. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, oh, we need Josh, did you ever experience the pain when Tegan changed the solder tabs on the HD motors to a heavier gauge? I had to borrow a friend's Metcal iron just to get it to work. Um, I don't know that I ever had too much of a struggle there, but um I guess I don't I don't remember specifically. In and out's very different than Shake Shack and Culver's. Actually, I've, I've never, never had, had Culver's. I've never had Shake Shack. I was thinking Steak and Shake. Oh, God. Very. I think, though, actually, I've never had Shake Shack either. No. I've only had Steak and Shake. We've never had Shake Shack because that was. Is that, where is that? Is that out here? Or everywhere. There's Are a they? chain. Yeah, there was one on the plaza that they put in after we stopped going out. Um, But Culver's Butter Burger, man. I've never had Culver's. You haven't? Uh-uh. We ha they put that one in by our house. My mom loves Culver's. In KC, I never went. Mm -hmm. Voodoo J778 gave us $5. Thank you. Thank, thank you. You'll get there, Gregory's Art and RC. Yeah, it took a long time. Now, I also, when I started YouTube, I had already been doing the RC side for a long time and like on the in the forum world where I had, you know, it was kind of before our. YouTube was the way, so. Um, Deep Friday burgers. People followed along with you in different ways back then more. Yeah. Nation's hamburgers in the Bay Area is good. We'll have to get that. Now I know who see you, Nicole, with like Rogue from X-Men. I imagine that's a... Don't know, I don't know X-Men very well. Yeah, I gotta look it up. Oh. <laughs> she had to run out to grab her phone just so she could Google that. So she can decide if she's offended or not. I'm kidding. She wouldn't be offended. Oh, uh, you never know. Well, that's true. You could be. You never... You'd... Increase the torque. Gotta make sure I'm using all the right length hardware here. Hair. You're okay. Oh, it's the hair? Yeah. Apparently she's got That's a blonde streak. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. And three. Okay, I'll take it. You're okay with that? Yeah. Passes the... Yeah. No, no. That's a 12. 
Oh my gosh. Have we even come back to Josh blowing my eardrums out with the dumb DeWalt? Sorry. Those are Nation's burgers and citrus sites. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hey. Waker steak and Lou is good too. <laughs> Wait, is that a real thing? I'm listening. And? Uh, Juicy Lucy. I've seen that on the Food Channel. Oh, that's a thing? Yeah, that's like deep fried hamburger with oh. cheese in the middle. I thought that was that old girlfriend everyone had in high school. Oh, lucky you. Is there an equivalent to RC Crawler forums nowadays? RC Crawler. I mean, there's still forums. It's just a different type of mindset for people. Some people just are more Facebook, ask the same question every day oriented rather than like researching an answer more. But other than that, I would say like YouTube is the closest equivalent to, to that same type of more updated experience. Uh, There's of course the SBG forums as oh, well. Oh, it's not deep fried, sorry. G Master, they, none of the other, none of the mods wanted to touch this. So they left it for me. Rogue can beat the shit out of people and suck their powers away. Nicole to a T. <laughs> Like, I don't know. Can we? Oh, wait. Use... Quaker steak and lube is real. Oh. I mean. I thought it was Quaker steak. Yeah. <laughs> Oral? Oil? Oh, I thought we were back on the strip club names for a second. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time to answer our questions. Thanks for being here, Greg Matthews. Thank you. Yes. Looking for a very small spacer. Is Vanquish Underdrive on just rear axle of 66 pointless? Just, sorry. Oh, just the rear axle underdrive. Um, I would probably want to do both rear axles. Matt just said Scale Builders Guild 2 cough. Did you? I think he forgot the, uh, there. We are on a delay. I already, already said it by the mm. time. Did you ever discuss the cracked front axle with Randall? I did. I've got a, a new one on the way, so I can take that one out, be able to send it to him. He can take a look and see if there was, if it was a fluke or whatever, but they'll be able to look at it. Math live streams are way better. <laughs> I'll do my Black Edition Claude tonight. Why not with you guys? Why not? I have never built a Claude from scratch. They're... Man, I cannot tell you how many Claude Buster kits I'm making. Yeah? Oh my gosh. I'm like, isn't this like the original RC car? <laughs> like what, how, is it having, it must be having a comeback. Right. What's your favorite crawler? VS410 Pro. Will we see a return of the D44 axles? Um, just one of those things catching up on everything else as well. So. Gosh, I tagged you in a post on Facebook of a killer semi that was slammed with giant chrome stacks. A must see. Yeah, that's a must see for him because he is obsessed. Um, it's hard for me to see tags like that. So I, you can like send it to me on my, uh, Harley Designs page messenger. I don't use my personal page messenger for things very often. Like I, so you won't, if you sent it there, I wouldn't see it. Or if you tag me, I might not see it, but you can send it to the Harley Designs page and I'll probably see it then. Got to go through all the little hardware bags to try and find. Five busters when you come back because of the LM2. That seems mm -hmm. like a stretch. Black right? edition biscuit out. That makes more sense. Did you look up the trail boss yet? I did not. But if I remember right, it's just like a Silverado package, isn't it? Right, on the same topic, do you think you were too tough on the rift causing the crack? Or is it something we should all look out for if we get the rift? I mean, I was definitely tough on it. So, you know. A lot of the abuse that I put it on, like, didn't wasn't in the video for sure, because it would have just been tumbles and crashes, and those don't necessarily make for good video. Um, best motor ESC combo for a new crawler build kit. I mean, if you go with a Hobbywing 1080 ESC and a Holmes 35 turn, just cheap, easy. Use the Trailmaster um, 
sport motors. They're like 25 bucks and they're great. Save you a bunch of money. Um, hey Nicole, do you ever get Joe's barbecue shipped out to you? No, but we always go there when we're home and we bring back squeal seasoning for everyone here. So we've gotten them all hooked on all, on the, all of the Okamama Joe's seasonings. What servo would you use in your uh, gatekeeper? Um, I mean, you can go to my gatekeeper video and I'll link and I linked which servo I used, so you could check that which one I actually used. Um, otherwise, I mean, I use like six hundred ounce inch plus servos most of the time, so that's not necessary, but it's just what I use. I didn't know Dustin Hoffman worked for Axial. Always wondered where he went. <laughs> Does Randall look like him? Yes. I'm going to check that. Yes, Dale, Instagram. He passed a lowered stretch semi. I took a couple pictures. How much of a discount do we get if we build the Vanquish kit? I don't know what you mean. How you have to build it. It doesn't come pre-built. Um, I am Oh, Mayhem's Ghost. Ten dollars. Thank you. Thank you. It's a battery hold down. Okay. Too bad there's no Runza restaurants out here. Runza had good hamburgers. I loved Runza. You like their hot pockets. It's called a Runza. Yeah. And that is a terrible name because it was basically White Castle in a hot pocket. That's not true. It was like it was German food. Basically, your next monthly mayhem have to semi build to be RC vaccination vehicles or drones. There you go. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> like if you came in, came with people with open syringes, like yeah, I think that's uh, it's actually like illegal to weaponize. Like a, yeah, <laughs> I think you would go to jail. <laughs> um, do you sign your builds? Um, I no, I don't. I get. Just never thought about that, I guess. Greetings from the Netherlands. Hello, hello. Uh, Harley, design so does Nicole get a cut from these Friday night streams? Maybe you should cut her in so she turns up more often. She, she gets half, just like everything else. Yeah. I say no hiding it here. Building is the best way because every driver should know their car. Yeah. Yeah, White Castle in a Hot Pocket barf emoji. Oh. Birk, I don't know how to say that. Birks? Birks? Runzas. Birk? What tires would you use on a gatekeeper? You could go to my gatekeeper video and see exactly what tires I used on my gatekeeper. <laughs> um, I use, I like Proline Hyrax. I like Proline... Uh, crawlers the most in most kit builds, but that's not what I used on my gatekeeper. So, but I've got full videos exactly on what you're asking. Here. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> is there any specific grease to use in Diff and Cheney? Is marine grease okay? Uh, it is okay. Uh, marine grease or, or automotive bearing grease, or I use the little vanquish grease, but there's lots of greases. Um, just grease away, grease it up. Um, love the channel, built my first SCX-10 too, Don Clark. Thank you. That's L, okay. I can't wait for your new show, Sunday Pedicures with Josh and Nicole. If you're lucky, Josh gets a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There. You want me to send a panel back for Josh to sign? I think I narrowed it down to I'm using too big of a solder. 1.6 millimeter is effing huge. Why am I struggling with this piece so much? Why? Is, wait, that's why. DLC wants There's to buy longer solder. You only use 3S on RIP. Would you have destroyed it on 4S? Um, 
honestly, I think 3S is plenty fast. I think if I was gonna go to 4S, I would have geared down significantly. I don't think the stock setup on 4S, I think it's just crazy fast. So. <laughs> what? What's up, Captain Flannel here. <laughs> oh, you took your flannel off. I did, I had flannel. Um, no drinks on the bench. No, we are, we are on a whole 30, so we are not drinking this month. 3D printed press on nails. <laughs> I can tell you, I've gotten like three pedicures in my life. Hmm. One was for my wedding, and then the late last one was for my best friend's wedding because she, her mom made us all go do it. So, um, nice cheese flannel. Thank you. My son's obsessed with RC and wants to know what he should do in college to get into the field. Um, you could do mechanical engineering. You could do electrical engineering. Um, those would be great starts. I, I will say that uh, if you did choose either of those routes, you could probably get into RC if you focused. However, it probably wouldn't be where you would end up making the most money with those degrees. <laughs> but... Um, Jeff is a civil engineer. I'm a civil engineer, which doesn't necessarily play right into the field, but civil engineering still teaches you a lot of things that makes, you know. Honestly, go to a lot of events and meet a lot of people. Yeah. Network. You can do. Yeah, it's. Thanks, Josh and Nicole, for answering my questions. I appreciate it. I'm about to build my Leah's 4 Pro. Nice. Do they have an LED kit for the safe there? Um, I don't know. I'm not big into the monster truck world, so I don't know a lot of the options. Do you re recommend a servo saver for a crawler? Um, servo saver for a crawl. Uh, no, typically no. Typically I do not. Dale's wife made him get a pedicure with her. I like that. I mean, why not? Nothing wrong with that. Boy, well, you went to Excelsior Springs to get petty and say, like, I went to Excelsior Springs for nothing. I, I mean, I spent time at Excelsior Springs. There's nothing wrong with that. No, I just, there was no reason for me <laughs> to go. I had a friend who lived there. Yeah. There, uh, uh, yeah. Well, fat Jesus and right. Big Aaron. Yeah. Nicole, can we do Sunday Wax Josh's Backyard? Show? Oh, my God. <laughs> I will not do that. <laughs> I will not do that to him. That is. Well, for one, we're not doing that on my YouTube regardless. Oh, no, that's, that's just so painful to me. So, yeah. Have you both been married prior to each other? Sorry if that's your personal question. I, Chaz. I was. So, no, it's fine. It happened. I have a degree in underwater basket weaving. Does that count? Oh, that was my minor. Oh, we pulled out a petty dry January. We're just doing. <laughs> we're just doing a whole thirty. We don't nothing basically. Nothing inflammatory. No sugar. No glue. Basically anything that tastes good. Yeah, is can't out. have it. Out. No dairy. No. Night Customs is here. Hey, Hello. James. How are you? Strange, Josh is an engineer yet doesn't speak like one. What's the secret? And can you teach other engineers this secret? <laughs> um, uh, I can't tell you. He does actually speak like one. He's just I, on, I, I, on I, right now. But <laughs> normally he does speak like one. And I'm like, are you? Are you done? Are you done? Seriously? I don't like I, I don't care what kind of intersection this is. Like, can we just go through it? <laughs> But it was poorly designed. I, and that's a shit. Don't care. <laughs> don't care. Someone should really call and make it, you know, let them know what they should do here. <laughs> write a. I'm like, write a letter. There. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> So who does all the food shopping for the whole party? Actually, 
Sorry, I'm not done yet for this one. It's been a little difficult, but we're getting there. Yeah. Since I saw your Bomber 2.0 build, I bought one and had so much fun building it and driving the shit out of it. It is amazing. Bombers are great trucks. I really like them. <laughs> Tyler Boss. No one could understand. Do you think there is a way to implement RC in helping the families of Garth's victim? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, don't. G has a lot of fans. <laughs> <laughs> I sent Josh a video from the Nugger. So like, jeez, jeez, sit it on. <laughs> I love that. I just can't, I can't listen to friends in low places the same way ever again in my life. Like, it's so. Uh. Ugh. <laughs> Additive manufacturing and digital fab and media. Just plugging my university here. Go Pong ones. They. Hang with Pit is that no idea. Pennsylvania? Pittsburgh? They use roundabouts as highway on and off ramps here? Uh in in some place at the top of an off the Where are you? Shh, shh. I've done those. I did them on uh two no, not two ninety one. Hey, night customs. Lee Summit, I went looking for scale accessories on your my mini factory, but couldn't find them. Any help? Hmm. James? <laughs> James, Paging James. Oh, so Josh hides it like Superman hides his identity with journalism. So Josh is basically Superman. <laughs> well, <laughs> easy. Why doesn't Horizon carry the VS410 Pro kit? They do. They do. Um, but uh, they can't. They don't sell them to dealers, oddly. So, so it's a weird one. Does the bomber need the sway bar setup? It's best, yes. Um, Youngstown State University in Ohio. Oh, he is Youngstown University printmaking. Hmm. That's cool. In Washington, near Seattle. Every YouTuber I know has done a Manscaped ad. Why not, Josh? Uh, different. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying I'm above it because they pay. Yeah. But uh, I don't think I'm at that level. We'll, we'll do it. When when they come when they come calling with the absolutely. <laughs> Uh, how are your Traxxas tips holding up? My 2.0 and 2.5 are getting worn out and it's only been six month old kit. I mean, you guys see me use mine all the time. I've, they work great for me. Good hardware. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. My, mine work great. And I, I mean, I, I'm wrenching all the time. So. So cool. What series are you watching? I just finished the Night Stalker. All right. Is there, huh, is there a way to convince engineer at work that he doesn't know everything? No. That question should not have been directed towards him. It should have been directed towards me. My little brother is also an engineer, and um, no, no, there's not. <laughs> Did I just hear a your mom's house reference? <laughs> yes, that's how you what's follow up? Proto Boys. What's up, Jeans? <laughs> Love them. I went to a front mount motor setup and seemed to reduce the need to zero. Uh, Josh yeah. is the wish version of Superman. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> James said, where'd you go? We don't have everything on our my mini factory, but if you want something specific, send us a DM. He got that. Aftermarket parts are hard to find for the bomber. All along is the coupon for Fast City going till. Uh we made it. It's a current coupon. Just... For no expiration. It is coupon code date night. For those who aren't there. Yeah. So you can save 10% on Fast Eddie Bear. Yeah. I know. I was walking out the door and I was like, hey, you can get a coupon code. And he was like, what do you want it to be? Nicole? I was like, no. That's so creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no. Like, it, make it date night. Let's see. I don't like when I can't use my fancier tools to make that. Um, what are your thoughts on the red element Sindoro um, tees? I saw that today as well. Uh, I hope it looks like possibly that's a new front bumper, which I hope they did because that really needed to go. I think tomorrow me and my TRX 
but we're gonna F. We're gonna what? Go down the mountain to save my sister. Um, what did you think about the series? It, it was fine. It took, it was a lot of, it took, it was very slow. Oh, uh, you were looking for something more fast paced? Me. James, how's your, the family and your brother? I love your brother. He's my favorite. Yeah, she, you're okay, but she really likes your brother better. I love him too, but I do love his brother. <laughs> what kind of run times do you get on your pro with 1300 4S? Um, if I'm kind of like consistently hiking, uh, if my 1300 4S's are either 95C or 120C, and I'll get um, 45 minutes, an hour, depending. Um, 13 turn is on back order. Any other motor for a three year trans on TRX 4 axles? Um, check out the Torque Master 27 turn because that would be a pretty close equivalent. Um, I think he also maybe has like a 12 turn crawl master, it might be an option. Um, make sure if you're looking at the 12 turn or 13 turn, it's the crawl master, not a torque master. Um, and if you're looking at a torque master, look for like 27 turn range. Brandon, thank you. Yes, then thank you for that. I do it myself. Where's the Chiefs gear? It's right here. Um, let's see. Brian Ratcliffe gave us five dollars. Thank you. Oh, you did you? I read that one. You read that. Okay. Dawson's Creek. Oof. Family's good. Brothers locked down in London. I figured. What is the code for 10%? Date night. Date night. One word. Upper oh, close. Ups. Uh, great stream. Must go. Good night. All and be well. Good night. Good night. Good um, night. I love the pro well. tech. <laughs> um, Damn it. I have to take off a part. I'm so behind. Sure glad I replaced hardware on this so that when I keep having to go back and forth, I've got <laughs> better hardware to. Last annoying question. Recommend motor and ESC in my cart. About to purchase. What steering servo should I buy with them? SDX Pin 2 Crawler Kit. Uh, it kind of depends on your budget. That That's the big thing with with uh, servos. You, you get what you pay for um, in most cases. But it, I like uh, if you can, if you're looking to spend, you know, $100 or more, you can end up with some really nice servos. If you're trying to go a little cheaper, um, it depends on the brands and availability. I don't necessarily know some of the less expensive ones, which I probably should have a better idea of, but. Um. I've driven the RC car on the passenger window of a car and it's a heck of a lot of fun. Not very legal though. Pretty sure that's happened. Um, so what's your runtime on the DJI Mavic Mini? I do not have a Mini. I have the regular. I like the minis. I would definitely purchase a mini if I was looking to buy again. Is it just me or is this build difficult? Um, it's just little steps that are like. That he's not paying attention to. So if you're not talking. If you're not talking. That's probably not difficult. Have a bunch of conversation. Yeah. Let's see. Thank you, Dean Master. Make sure you chat people. Hit the like button on your way out. We appreciate it. Or hit the like button now even. Oh, do it now. You can close the live chat if you're on mobile and then open it back up after you're done. So. I have a chance to get an SCX-10 used for 150 unknown electronics. Worth it for a first crawler to get started? Uh, is it SCX-10? Uh, if it's an SCX-10-1 for 150, not necessarily. It might be, but if it has good electronics, if it doesn't, then probably not. You probably find an SCX-10-2 for damn near, or for, you know, Close to the same. So, not necessarily worth it. Okay, 
Prestige Ultras. Uh, made a funny joke about TLC. Um, cool. But yeah, you wouldn't. <laughs> Would it be a bad idea to put our TV on the diffs portal or transmission water for waterproof? Um, I wouldn't. That's messy. You don't really need it. You can kind of things seal up pretty well. Um, and I would, I would hate to work on a car that had RTV put all over stuff. So I'd avoid that. Can you explain what, why an external BEC is needed with some servos? Uh, external BEC is basically like a fuel pump. And the internal BEC in an ESC may only be able to do so much. But when that servo is just trying to pull power, that ESC can't feed it. So it will basically shut down the ESC. So you need an external so that it can feed that servo enough power. That's why. What's your favorite way to detail 3D printer parts? I don't. I was going to say. I don't detail parts very often. So I'm looking for tiny O-rings now. That probably don't would use live RTV with a thin coat of grease between case halves. We'll seal it up pretty well. Yeah. Just... Uh, I think you're so lucky that your wife does like RC cars. I just got my wife into rock crawling trucks. I also got my kids into it. We just want to stay safe and do family stuff. Well, this is an awesome hobby for that. However, she doesn't like our seat trucks. Industry. She just, so I have, she supports whatever we're doing. Yeah. But and she I, likes to travel for them. I do. And I like to just go to the events and meet people and I hike and crawl on stuff by myself. And I'm good with that. But 10 years and I've never touched one of these. Um, but it's fun. It's still a fun family hobby. That it is. All right, now I need the knuckles. There you go. Josh has plenty of rigs. What's your favorite thing he can't say no when you want to purchase it since he has every rig he wants? What is it? I don't know. I'm pretty... Uh, You're pretty content? She yeah. wanted a new TV this year. I didn't actually want it. I needed it because our TV, our one TV in our house went out. Yeah. So um, I did buy a Pilates machine. You, she did. That that was outside of her norm. Yeah. Other than that, pretty much with my groceries. I don't know. She, oh, uh, she subscribes to basically every streaming service oh my god what are you my brother like relax like he bitches about louis like i can't subscribe to another one like oh here you can have my disney plus login yeah. <laughs> like it's cool <laughs> i gotta watch hamilton okay <laughs> like <laughs> you gotta have hbo right. you have to have hulu and hulu live and netflix, netflix. That's and it. Amazon Video. No, that comes with Amazon Prime, which we still use my parents' Amazon Prime. Account. Yeah, we don't have our own Amazon Prime account. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> WandaVision, I'm excited to watch that. What is that? The Marvel one. Oh, got you. Which I'm not usually a big Marvel fan, but... Boring. I prefer Josh's rigs. Yeah, I, I, yeah I'm kind of... Um, Kind of cheap. Um, I did want a new glitter robot, but I couldn't do it. So we'll see if he did. Um, have you ever stretched one nine tires over two two feed locks? If so, is there any advantage to this? It's just a style thing. There's not really an advantage. It's just style. I've done it before. So missed one. What? Oh, Bill Darris gave us five dollars. Thank you. Test pay. Oh. Thank testing, you, Bill. Testing, it worked. Thank you, Bill. Thanks. Bill's up in Reno. Yeah. Don't, oh, don't get too excited about WandaVision. See, I'm more of a DC. I like the darker ones. I do like Doctor Strange, though. Deadpool. Is that Marvel? Uh-huh. That's, you know. Deadpool was the best. I'm just saying it wasn't like a Marvel. There, I, I, I don't. Don't let Alexa hear you say that. She'll cut you off. <laughs> uh, I missed the fifteen thousand dollar question. I did. Yeah, I didn't know. 
No. I think people should set up a donate account for a litter box. No, donate. No, 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 no. Donate to your local food bank. Yeah. <laughs> we appreciate the support. We appreciate it. We're not All of your <laughs> super chats go basically into next week's build. <laughs> so, but yeah, we no, appreciate no. it. Oh. Josh, is it a good idea installing the new SDX 10.3 straight axle on a VS4 10 chassis kit with a VFD transmission? I have all of those things here for possibly Sunday. Um, Sunday night, I'll probably, since I'm going to change that stream up, I think we're going to try some just kind of Q&A messing around. Um, and I think that is going to be what I kind of start on. And then once I get it figured out, I can do a, an actual video on it in case anything special is needed. But I have everything here to do it. I got the straight axle kit this week because I think it is a good idea. But What's I just want to see how it works out. Favorite mini rig? Mini rig? Um, I don't know really. I hope, but I think the SCX24, but I really don't have enough experience to say that yet. Good. Jesse says, I'm kidding. I do donate to food banks and animal shelters. Has anyone set up Josh for that OnlyFans channel? <laughs> HBO, yes, I do have the HBO Max. What, like, but why do we have HBO Max and HBO Now? You don't, it's not. They don't have HBO Now anymore. It's just HBO Max. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, jog your memory on the original SDX 10, you used a Toizuki forward motor back. Oh, yes. Do you remember what length drive shaft went from motor to transmission, please? Motor? No, I think that was, I don't remember. Other than, I think I, I used an MIP and I think it was, man, I'm pretty sure that was a slash drive shaft MIP output. I, I have to imagine that I put part numbers or said part numbers, though. Um, Everyone get ready to check your Mega Million tickets and then come back to Josh and Nicole. And if... Did they already draw it? So I think he said get ready, so it doesn't sound like it. Like, I can do it here. You can, what, you scan them? Yeah. Oh. So. Uh, yeah, you have you you have Motor Trend, which is dumb because it's a channel on Hulu it's, that you can no, go no, watch no, on. No, 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 stuff. no, that's not how that works because it's delayed on there, and you get all the top gears on Motor Trend. You get them all on Prime too. Yeah, I I have not watched Wonder Woman yet. Mm. Wife comes in the room. Why does this smell like paint here? Did you just paint Moose Jaw? <laughs> Josh, how do you choose what you're going to build like tonight? Um, so tonight, uh, this was this is a build. This is Moose Jaw's truck. He owns this truck. He painted this truck, and he is allowing me to build it for him, uh, which is very helpful because then uh, it helps that I didn't have to buy it. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we did a build for Brian Sherwood, which was like that mystery one. And that was a mystery. I didn't know what we were building until it showed up and we opened it on stream. Um, other weeks, it depends like what's in stock. It's sometimes it's hard or not, not just what's in stock, but like what's in stock that I can buy. So that, cause I'm not going to buy like six, $800, $1,000 kits every week or almost any week, you know, like we've done the VS410 Pro and Ultra, which are expensive. Um, and we've done some other builds that had a lot of part value in them, but- You just prefer the ones that don't take forever. What is your recommendation on mounting a Lexan body with no body clips? I think that's very specific to the build. Um, I don't like Velcro. I don't really like magnets. So if I was going to do it, I'd want to like make mounts that kind of key in in ways. But so I would probably use like 3D printed and plates. So I just did that on the UMG long wheelbase build where I covered that a little bit. Oh, yeah. PVS on demand's the best. Really? Yeah. Mom has it. 
How much we don't pay for that one. No. How much importance do you put into having a full interior and a build? <laughs> Not a lot. I like the bomber interior. It's like an interior, but easy. And then you have a lot of room underneath. <laughs> um, what mouse do you have? I know weird question. Uh, that's the Razer. Um, what is it? Basilisk X Hyperspeed. Yes, that one. Those I really like it. Different kinds of. And then I use a Logitech uh, G613 on my editing machine, the wireless. And I like that as well. Hello from Josh Weisgerber in Grand Junction. Just got my electrons for upgrading my KEI truck. I'd love to know what you have done to yours. Um, nothing yet. And I really want to. I, I was at the hobby shop um, picking up some things, what, today? And I... Wanted to see if they had M, like this chassis, M chassis uh, wheels and tires, but they did not. So I need to order some of those and I, I want to get mine. I actually just want to like see how slammed I can make it because I think that would be fun. Marvel's going to have an R rated channel. Interesting. Chris Goen said, Thank you guys for all you do. I'm sure we speak for most, but thank you for bringing us all a little peace. <laughs> we pray you flourish and prosper. Well, we pray you flourish and prosper as well. Thank yes. you. It's very nice. We appreciate it. Has the keyboard been wineproof yet? <laughs> Scott Oblander gave us five dollars. Thank you. Um, did you see RC Speedy updated the capper cage to R two? Was I did fix suspension clearance complaints? Yeah, wonder where those came from. I mean, other people obviously as well, but you being bitchy. I have a worthless chassis oh. that I paid for. You know, it's like 400 bucks and it's a, it's worthless. Why? Because it's designed like crap. And I was pissed off. If a normal customer bought that and ended up with a completely useless chassis and had spent maybe it's 300 bucks, whatever, 360 bucks. If they spent that, they, it's 360 bucks. Coming in late, what are we building? Tamiya Type 2 van. It's on the M06 chassis and then Moose Jaw, this is his truck. And we've got this van body he painted very nicely. Have you got a new build for Nationals? Or are you going with what you built for 2020? Um, I don't really own the ones that I built for 2020 anymore other than my class two right there. Um, I'm playing it by ear and I'm just gonna go to MC and talk to people instead of worrying about building trucks because it was just one of those things I'm like I'm not going to spend a bunch of time trying to get everything done again in the case that BLM shuts everything down again or anything like that I just the Bureau of Land Management yes um, if they so I'm just I was just like you know what I can have just as much fun going and filming Will the Hobbywing 550 R2 fit in the Pro, or does it have to nope. be a 540? 540. 540 only, it says in there. And Censored, we mean it. Oh, no, Censored sorry. wire on Mamba X combo. It seemed pretty weak in wet, humid conditions. What can I do to fix it? Dielectric grease in the plug. I'm in Quebec, Canada, and here we have a lot of snow. Um, uh, yes, uh, dielectric grease in the plug, if you're having issues like that. That is odd. Um that yeah i used to use like bulb grease or yeah regular dielectric whatever you got so and i need c4 and c8 at night customs would i be able to print the bronco interior on my printer with 120 millimeter by 120 millimeter by 120. Mm. thanks great job on the other products i believe that's a little small no we're not talking keyboards if i send you a Dancing or dual rider, will you build it? We just did a dancing rider. Sorry, Jesse. We just did it. Love your idea. Congrats on getting the last name right. Josh is definitely an abnormal customer. <laughs> <laughs> but you said you didn't really like the Capra. What was needed to make it like? It just, the gearing was really bad. I didn't really love the chassis proportions. I didn't like how it sat. Um, I don't know. There's just a lot of, th I didn't like the transmission at all. So for me, like I wanted to, if I was going to keep the chassis, like that was just a requirement. It needed to get the skid plate ripped out and a three gear style put in, 
with a much better dig. Um, so you had decent gear ratio and a, a reasonable dig. Um, you know, just some things like that. I don't know. I just didn't love it. And part of it, a big part of it was the gearing. Any rally cars? I don't, but those are, I used to have a, uh, Kyosho DR, DR8 or what was that? Something like that. I can't remember what that thing was called. Oh, Chris going to give us $20. Thank hey. you. Thank you, Chris. I had that very nice. Thing. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Did you ever get a chance to run the fat box? No, I have not. It's on the shelf right above Nicole's head right now. You're such... I just love the way it looks. Musha does such a good job on that. I just like, I think they're, it's a cool model. Oh. I'll drive it. It's not, it's built to drive. It's going to. I just have it. It's one of those ones like I'd like to, I don't know. It's one of those, like I would go drive it, but I always like to go drive with friends and things like that. And we really haven't done a lot of that no, with all this stuff. No friends. We have friends. We just haven't seen them very <laughs> much. <laughs> You're an ass. I'm your friend. <laughs> My hands are cold. Yeah, your hands are freezing. <laughs> yeah. Why are your hands so cold? I don't know. You need more coffee. Ugh, no, you can suck it. You can make your own coffee. <laughs> so, I missed one of those I little parts. missed a whole bunch. Sorry. Once Nicole getting a chainsaw and joining Matt. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that refers to, but sure. Sounds fun. <laughs> Not to get any concern, but there seems to be a Bernie Sanders lurking on the trail, ready for attack. <laughs> He's not real. He's not. <laughs> that was just falling in with internet memes today. That shit's funny. I thought so too. I love it. I want it there always. There were some good ones. You want it there always. Yeah, like I want it, but I, you think you should like 3D print it. <laughs> there was a knitted one. Someone sent me a knitted one. Yes. Or not knit, whatever that would be. My wife just went to make another coffee. I'm boring her to sleep. She isn't an RC either, in case you didn't guess. <laughs> I'm right there with her. Tell her I apologize for having to listen to this. <laughs> Livermore, see you yeah, back from more. Not too far away. It's not? Nope. It's on the way to the Bay Area. Or it is the Bay Area, really. Okay, so there's that that we need. The rear springs in that kit are too soft. The ass end bottoms out like crazy. That sounds kind of fun, though. Did you see the one Safe Light did? No. How do I get my responses to highlight when I tag people? I don't know how to do that either, honestly. That's James. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, sorry, James. I can't help you either. Maybe one of the other guys. I don't, uh, usually they put at, right? I think. I think you put at. I don't know why I'm um, even acting like I would know. Yeah, exactly. Come on, I'm sure you have a Keurig. We do not. We don't. We use a regular coffee pot. A yeah. small but regular coffee. It's a six cup. Nope, it didn't highlight. I don't know. Ask Gene Master does it. That. Man, Dale has to wake up at 3 a.m. Oof. <laughs> that's not a wake up time. That's a go to bed time. Yeah, but sometimes that is for me. If I get deep into a project, I'm like, I should go to bed. Oh, it won't show for you, but it will show for them. Really? Huh. Oh, that's why we always see. Eh. Hmm. Try it again with ours and we'll see if we see it. What do you think about brazen chassis? Uh, I mean, I'm not big on flat rail chassis, but Brett Bennett, who is the uh, proprietor of brazen scale, is a good dude. Um, so, I, you know, I like Brett. What bits do you use in your drill? Those are Traxxas bits. 
Looking forward to seeing your coverage for the big drags in February. Another one I'm... Yes, now we, yeah, we see yep, it. Yep, exactly. It works perfectly now. Okay. There you go. We see it. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird that it only shows for that person. Well, it's not, I guess it makes sense. So that yeah. person's just like, otherwise we'd just be full of those things all the time. <laughs> Uh, Josh, when are you going to do your custom tube chassis build at Josh? Um, so I don't plan to do a tube chassis build. I want to do a video that's just like the basic tools you need, like the absolute cheapest stuff you, you know, tools you need to get by to make tube things. And now you could make a tube chassis with it, but I'm not going to go through a whole build like that because that's a, it's a crazy amount of hours. Um, I'm just going to put some things together to show you that. The basics. John Howard, a uh, bearing set for the Rally Volkswagen MF OX one is twenty five ninety nine. I don't know how I just rain man to that, but um, I mean I I did know. unless you and you can use our code date night for ten percent off. There you go. I'm just trying to. You're just trying to. I'm gonna ask him for a um. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> what chassis should I use for my trail boss build? Can I um what what have the ticket? Oh. <laughs> well hold please to see if this stream continues. Yeah, if not. <laughs> <laughs> They read it. It's just, I think too many people are checking it. Dang it. Our system is currently unavailable. <laughs> Listen, someone's trying to win a billion dollars yeah. right now. <laughs> Don't do it. Oh, the results are not in? Oh. I mean, you probably do it the old school way. I mean, oh, you got it. Yeah, no, today's the 22nd, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. No, they haven't posted it yet for California, so. Wait, I thought they're all the same. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, 426. Ugh. Nope. We got four on two of them. 24. We won nothing. We won n nothing. Wait. Oh, we do have scratchers. 426. No, we got two numbers. Don't you like win your money back if you get two numbers? I don't know. I've played the lottery like five times ever. Oh. No, they posted it and it's not a... Damn it, I guess we're stuck with y'all. <laughs> uh, we do have your scratchers though. Yes. When was the last time you bought a scratchers ticket? Um, my great uncle's funeral. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you should explain that. No. Yep. <laughs> Everybody at your great uncle's funeral did scratchers, right? Because he did scratchers. Lots of them, and I bought. I think I don't remember if I bought fifty or a hundred dollars worth of them for after his funeral. <laughs> um, for everybody, because what else do you do at like at the Ozarks funeral? We watched the Chiefs game because he loved the Chiefs, and uh, we did scratcher scratcher tickets, tickets and drank and told stories. It was and looked at pictures. We have a million old pictures, so it was great. See. What do you know? Yeah. You should do your scratchers to see if you're... Right now? Do you have a coin? I do. Yeah, I'd, I guess I'd rather do it in here than get this shit all over. What is that? That looks special. It's a oh, lucky it's, coin. It's axial. I know. It's a 15th year anniversary axial coin. That's not going to do anything. It'll do it. No. You want the overhead cam? Here, you can do it over here. 
wants to see this. This is so boring. It's better. <laughs> Sorry. You're right. It is. See, it worked though. Special coin. Axial Betty coins doing doing work. Rift or laser nut? I would personally go rift. That would be my hands down choice there. Lucky coin too. Did you win anything? Or are you unsure? I'm unsure. 79. I don't know. I'm just going to scan it. <laughs> you can't tell if you had three things that are the same? I think that's how it works. Isn't it? Match yeah. any of your numbers to any three winning numbers. Yeah. So, so you got to find if these three. So no. Yeah, you can scan them later. I'm not going to lie. That is confusing. Yeah, they're always confusing. Are they? Yeah. I don't know that that's the truth. They are. That, I like that coin is doing more work than many of the Bettys out there. <laughs> Damn it, almost. Uh, really, I was not expecting you to choose the Rift or the Laser. Oh, for sure. For me, solid axles over, over independent. That is almost all, like... No doubt that that is going to be the way that I would go there. Okay. And then, ooh, shorty ones. If Nicole wins, she can buy a chainsaw. <laughs> a chainsaw? If Nicole runs out of the room, she won big and she left Josh. <laughs> no. I'm moving to Florida. Damn it. I spilled, but it's the bag that I needed. I miss like the Ozarks from St. Louis now in San Diego. I uh, love San Diego. Ah, uh, San Diego. Who doesn't have a lease? I don't have a. Don't have what? Chainsaw, just a trimmer thing. Like, not, I have like for, so for branches and mm -hmm. stuff, the saw. See, Matt does this chainsaw impression when he's talking about his ripper it makes the noises yes agreed but we all know that we've come to know expect it from matt he, we know he's in funny how we always scratch and then reread the game and try always <laughs> scratch first um is there an instagram for dummies out there y'all's posts are great and i want to share my current train wreck of a build Mike J. Um, use hashtags. So if you turn the AVCS up on the Rift, will it act like a full-size solid axle vehicle and have a death wobble? Yeah, sure will. <laughs> sure will. Where is that parts tree? Yeah, that's that number. It's A. Oh, there it is. Last one. Always the last one. Um, I just played the moment when Nicole saw Bernie on the show. <laughs> like I said, I don't have the uh, Instagram or any of that. Like, it's all foreign for me. Um, how's the raccoon family? I don't know. We haven't. We haven't really kept up with the trail cam. No, I, all I needed was... She just needed to know what it was. Somebody asked, and I didn't read it when we played that, are they hurting anything? And I was like, I'm not going to get into this fight with you. But yes, 70% of <laughs> raccoon shit has roundworm in it. So yes, they are hurting things. I don't want to get roundworm. <laughs> don't play in it for sure then. Like... Just saying, but still, I agree. I would don't. I'm not looking to keep them around. No, I'm not gonna kill them. I'm not gonna shoot them. But oh, like, I we, mean, we live neck. We live like we have neighbors real close. <laughs> I know. Like, I'm not saying I'm above it. They're just we have neighbors real right. close. Like, but we live in the suburbs now. Ugh. 
My wife's still giggling, Nicole, so thank you for that. <laughs> I do what I can. No, Josh is never going to get another Harley one day. No, probably not. That's, I mean, I can't think of a situation where I, I would. But Yeah, and they have rabies. I mean, these ones probably didn't have rabies. They were out at night, but. What? The, what is that? I thought rabies makes them come out during the day. No, I don't know. Fear of water. And it makes you throw up on a 5K. Who had rabies? Michael Scott. No. Meredith Palmer. Oh, right. I was like, wait. I was thinking like a poker run. Like with like, <laughs> like somebody at somebody at Crawl Flues and it would have <laughs> definitely been there that the rabies would happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, he's not getting another motorcycle. As long as we live in California, he won't. Yeah, that that's for sure. People in California. No, that is, it's back home maybe, but not here. Drivers out here or something. Yeah, they're on one for sure. Yeah, no, don't touch armadillos. They are. Ar don't touch what? Armadillos. They're disgusting little shits. I hate those things. Had one hiss at me one time. Josh does not have any tips on polishing 3D parts because he doesn't do that. I do have the XTC 3D, which is like a brush on polisher. It's like oh, yeah, trying that. to you do were it super with. super excited about that. I definitely haven't used it though. Because that's like what you would do if you were me and didn't want to pop like sand and do all that. You you don't even know because you haven't even used it. Well, I know, but it's like the cheater way. Oh my I don't God. even know if it works. Totally agree. You're but the worst. I just don't have a need to do that. Um, Nicole, have you seen the predator? No, but Josh says that that's what I look like when I wake up. Yeah. Coyotes are the worst as well. Off topic, but um, the other night I saw you using a hex bit to install rod ends. Was it a Schaffner or other another brand? So I'm using a hex bit to install. Off topic, because it's RC related. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Now I need to explain to my kids what that word means. This is a uh, team garage hack rod end tool. So team garage hack. Which I think their website's just like teamgaragehack.com. Not sure where else they're available. Uh, yeah. The XTC3D likes to melt, make the foam brushes smoke after a while. That was what I assumed. Doesn't seem like much of a problem. <laughs> as long as you're expecting it. All right. Um, Jesse Schultz wrote a rigid. Oh. I have... I have ridden rigids in the past i don't i do not prefer them that's what he said goodbye kidneys yeah isn't exactly. your dad like rigid yeah our, the last chopper was a rigid when we had a number of choppers. still has it yeah it from him. yeah technically we are still there i've seen the predator next on how to catch a predator with Chris <laughs> and how to spell it what word what word did i say i mean uh <laughs> I mean, it could have been. Your kid shouldn't be up this late. Yeah. <laughs> Watching a show where someone's building an RC toy. <laughs> like, I mean. Oh, Tennessee would be. It's fun. I have actually been motor. Oh, shit. Oh. Um. At least you repeated it to clarify. Yeah. I think they were asking you to spell it. Spelling bee style. Use that in a sentence. Shit. <laughs> I can always. <laughs> oh, oh. As Nicole's a predator, does that mean Josh is an alien? Josh, he could be an alien. I mean, that's sure. It's a possibility. What is that screwing into? It's showing that thread. That is. Oh, really? I did buy a Vanquish VS410 Pro. Thank you for the recommendation. It built like a Tamiya kit, but had a lot more metal parts. There we go. Okay, sorry. Uh, well, I, I think that's good. And the hardware should have been better. Shipped. <laughs> I 
you shipped my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Are we getting a Nicole cost jar? Probably a good idea. <laughs> we we could not afford to do Friday night builds and fill that cost jar. Who would be the guy that loses his hand, Matt? I honestly in hot tub time machine. What? <laughs> uh, Alien versus Predator. Oh, I don't know if I've seen that. Josh could have a new RC every week. <laughs> yeah, I still have to pay. For, I, like I said, I couldn't fill pay for both of those things. <laughs> I'm going to pre-thread that with a screw because you know, I can't help it. Huh. There's a quote out there that says something about it. people are with higher intelligence have do it. No, the most honest people. I just, I don't know. I'm sorry. If we did that, there would be a litter robot in every room. <laughs> Full of shit. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I apologize. Has she cussed tonight? Um, did anybody see that, uh, Tiger King did not get a... That's a YouTube, that's a YouTube moderator trying to demonetize you. What? Has she cussed? <laughs> Lazy. Um... What? Oh, Tiger King did not get pardoned. He did not get a pardon. You know, don't try and kill. Don't try and have other people kill people. Because that, that, you don't. He was framed. Was he? I don't know. I'm pretty sure like the FBI had him on tape. I mean. <laughs> like. <laughs> like. Tape. You know, I've got burning tape in here. <laughs> Oh yeah, somebody back in the day, Carol Bassman deep faked Joe Exotic <laughs> trying to kill her. I mean, <laughs> you saw his green screen abilities in those there, shows. You know what? That's very true. Yeah, <laughs> I think he should. I think he should go to jail just for killing all the alligators and shooting the horses. I don't remember any of that. Yeah, he like burnt his thing down. Oh, 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 I do. Okay. Sure. In reality, I, I definitely didn't. Yeah, he burned that building down and it had all the alligators in it. And then he was shooting horses and feeding them to the tigers. Like, yeah, yeah, I don't mean. I don't care. He can sit in there. I'm preparing to build a team associate element in Doro kit. Any thoughts on my future build? Um, The rot, the... Building the links is a pain in the ass. Be prepared. Uh, beyond that, pretty easy build. You know, you guys look like a young Christy P and Tommy Buns. Your mom's house. Christine Pschitzky. Tom Secure. Oh, yes. Do we? She's blonder than you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Have you seen the new book by a photographer, Kieran Dodd, Gingos? I'm getting a copy for my wife and she is a redhead. I have not. <laughs> Three I have not. Just notice the right corner. <laughs> I thought you were going to notice it because I okay. was doing it like right as you came in because I did it like two minutes before the stream. I was like, oh, I don't really look it. I know. <laughs> but I was like moving it on the screen. I was just like, Shh. no. All right. Is there a difference between Vanquish off the shelf axles versus the axles that come in the kit for the pro? No, they're made, same ones. Um, some of the ones that we. Like you can't buy the off, but like the rear axle, it's the same as like the F9 that we sell, like the F9 rear. Cause it's centered. It's the same one. It's like, that's the same housing. 
That's a good question, though. That is a good question. You're like, no. Nope. I mean, I'm just saying, like, no, like, there's no, we don't make anything lesser or anything like that. Lesser or greater. That's just same machine. They just, we just either use it for one thing or we use it for another. Good night, Logan's Custom Designs. Will the van have a working smoke system? You're going to have to ask Moose Jaw that. Like a Cheech and Chong one? Mm hmm. Oh. I don't know. All right, I need another one of those set screws. It scared me. Man, it's 8 30. I know. I this build is taking a little bit. Two and a half hours. I've had to undo and redo a number of things a few too many times. My own fault, but partially because I was split focus. Pay attention. Pay attention. Oh, look at that. My last bike was a 2008 Hayabusa. It got totaled when I got T-boned after my broken shoulder healed. I sold my soft tail. My, uh, my last Hayabusa was, or my only Hayabusa was a 2005 limited edition. Okay, well, it just means it had a black frame. It's really the only difference. It had no graphics and it had a black frame. Um, but, and it got totaled when I got hit head on in downtown Kansas City. Yeah. Um, and then I bought it back from the insurance and made it way too fast. That's on a dual stage foam. Let's just, the moral of that story is that those are dangerous. Well, anything can be dangerous. It wasn't my fault, but um, dual stage foam, I always run. Crawler, I have a Crawler Innovations shirt on. I prefer Crawler Innovations for their dual stage foams. You do to helicopters too, or just wheeled RCs? Mainly wheeled RCs. I do have a couple of quadcopters and like I have a cinema, you know, or my, my Mavic cinema drone. Um, and then I've got uh, like a five inch FPV quad and a couple of like tiny whoops and stuff like that. But I don't do any like traditional helicopters. So thank you. I'm going to buy the whole kit now. Hey, good deal. Do you have any questions? Yeah. Let me know. Um, I'm going to go check out my cat. Why is that? Because she's quiet? Yeah. Is that making you nervous? Yeah. I am trying to find the missing tiny set screw that I need for this link. It's driving me insane. Anyway, are Duratex tires decent, good or junk? Um. I would say that they are on the the lower end of that scale. Super soft without the benefit of traction. They're they're just soft. Like they're I don't I don't know. I've had them all. Um when they first came out with them, they, they sent me a pair of each of them and I was just like I was like these are super soft. The included foams are way too soft and the 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 actual tires themselves are super soft, but are not sticky. They don't have any traction. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I just, I'm not a fan. Um, my boost is so fast. I had enough guts to get it up to 160 just once for about five seconds before I let out. Mine was pretty, f I had, I had pushed my, I think there's actually a video on my old YouTube channel of like going down the interstate at like 175, which was dumb, but I was much younger then and dumber. Um, and yeah, it was stupid fat. And then after that, um, that was when it was stock basically. Then after that, I built the motor and put way too much power into it. And it was just a, I was just going to get myself in too much trouble with it. I was just drive riding way too fast, like on my way to work. You'd end up doing 140 miles an hour on the on-ramp. And it was just, I was not going to make wise decisions. So um, what is your old YouTube channel name? Bird Reynolds. <laughs> and I think the title of that video is, uh, it says like nothing to see here or some stupid shit like that. Oh, this is driving me insane. I'm going to have to just find a replacement for that that set screw because it just can't find it. Doesn't exist. It's an M3 by 12 set screw. Put a bird on it. 
Suzuki RM power band was, oh God, the two, yeah, two. Uh, where was the new Enduro leak? It was, there was a picture of the red Enduro in their Instagram stories. And so you can check there. All right, let's see if, oh, I think I know where. Bird or Bert? Bird, B-I-R-D. Bird Reynolds. All right, let's see. No, nope, my set screws in there are not long enough. Okay. All right, we're going to move forward and I'm going to figure that out later. Uh, rode my buddy's Hayabusa, shifted three gears down. I was going 130. Yeah. You can do 80 in first gear on a Hayabusa. Stupid. It's cold. You were cold? Yeah. Yeah. So I had to go get my buddy. No, oh, there you go. You know, brother. It's amazing that he tolerates you. Oh, you got a jealous kitty now. No. God. He's mad he wants to go back on the heating blanket. He basically lives on a heating blanket. On a heating blanket or a heating pad or maybe Nicole bought them a heated bed that's weight activated. I did. So. Are you reading? No. Please? <laughs> what do you mean like that? I was like, like, you're staring in the direction. I thought that's what you were doing. Why did the viewers drop from 405 to 120? Everyone looking for Josh's other YouTube channel. Oh, oh that made him look up quick. <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> that made him look up quick. So, make sure that we're doing the correct sides. Right, left, yes. All right, did your Harley get speed wobbles around 140 miles an hour too? Uh, my Harley did not have the oomph to do 140 miles an hour. I promise. Um, my Harley was a, it was an Evo motor, so the 80 inch, and it was a soft tail, but it was just a stock motor. And yeah, it, I don't know. I didn't have a speedometer on it either, so I have no idea what speed it went to but not what the cool kids did what not have speedometers i mean it looked better so <laughs> i took the whole i put a different a stretched tank on it so it followed the contours of the seat no dash no indicate however yeah. you will not put an interior in a car an rc car yeah i took stuff you want me to take stuff out i'll do that harley's will death wobble at 85 i'll tell you what it's all about your rake and trail my jeep I am seriously trying to figure out, like I'm missing a bag of hardware. You say that every time, every single time. I wonder if they're these. They must be these. You just look for them first. Well, it's like they're, di I, they're, those were brass and all of a sudden these are a different color. Uh-huh. Maybe you should start, you know what you should do? What? Like I do with Ikea furniture, I make sure I have everything and lay it out first. Well, you see, but I'm not using this hardware. So, except these specialty pieces, so it's like all of that hardware is useless to me. Right, but just make sure that you have it first. Wow. Wow. Really? She's really disappointed that you're not giving her attention, but you're giving Peanut attention. They're talking amongst themselves. Let's see. 160 plus with a pasture on a decently built 600R. I had done overly excessive speeds with a passenger a time or two, which was, again, just not very smart. 
Yep. Don't do that. Um, it's Tamaya. It's not missing. You just can't find it. Says James. <laughs> <then>. <laughs> Hey, Josh, what do you think about the Kyosho Phantom four-wheel drive on road car? I don't know anything about that car. I don't even know what, <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Or if it's something really cool, I don't even know about. <laughs> like how my cat just looked at my phone wondering where the cat is. <laughs> oh, she's right here. <laughs> Get a T-Rex with a turbo Hayabusa engine, then drive the crap out of it with Nicole. Ah, the T Rex. Those were so cool in like the early, early two thousands. I think we're there yet. Yeah, that's that. I didn't when I was building mine. I was just like, do I want to do a turbo? And I was just too cheap to do the turbo Hayabusa. So I stayed naturally aspirated and just built the motor. In the end, I probably should have just gone with a turbo and a stock motor. <laughs> But, you know, that's how that goes. <laughs> My dog's just jumped up, too. Um, Mamba X or Axe? Mamba X, every time. Just dropping in, what are you building tonight, Josh? This is the Tamiya M06 with the Type 2 Volkswagen body. Let's see. I mostly remember the T-Rex because every rapper had one on cribs. Exactly. That's the old... This is Moose Jaw's vehicle I'm building, and this is the body he painted for it, which looks very good. But yeah, that's the only reason I remember the T-Rex as well. Mr. HS gave us $5. Thank you. Harley Designs, I bought my first RC. It's Axial Wraith Spawn. What are your oh, thoughts wow. on it? Um, I always really liked the Wraith. I had a lot of fun with it. Um, I don't usually build with Wraiths as much anymore, just because I, I kind of preferred some of the characteristics of the bomber. But that was because I kind of wanted a little bit more of the speed and things like that. And that was the bomber was a little bit better for that. But the Wraith is super capable. Um, you don't see as many as the spawns with the full body. They can be a little bit annoying to like get into and out of constantly. Um, that That's kind of the biggest thing with the spawn is the annoyance of how the body attaches to the wraith cage since that's not how it was designed initially. But I, think someone's barking. I don't think so. That's not the case. You're just a liar. <laughs> She's just doing that so she can stay. Uh, I didn't like the spawn because of how much time to remove. Yeah, exactly. That was the, the biggest problem with that. Um, so I don't. It was like a it was like a kind of an after thought to their their program for some reason. I'm not 100 percent sure why that was the the route that they went with that vehicle, but in the end, it was still a fun car. So, because it's still a wraith underneath, you can always just take that off and put regular body panels on it um, and have a lot of fun. So, probably not as bad as the JT body. Definitely just as bad or worse. I don't, because it was actual screws you had to take off all over. So, Josh, will there be any brass on this build? This is not my build, so I, will, I don't have to make that decision. Um, there won't be any while I'm doing this, I'll tell you that. But in the end, that that's a moose jaw question. So I need B eleven. We're gonna go with uh, yeah B eleven. D one of these as well. Doesn't say. All right. I get up, grab a drink, and Nicole's gone. Yeah, exactly. She's like, I think a cat's puking. Ah, she just jumped up. <laughs> She's just being lazy. 
Ja. Good night. Night off to bed. Yeah, we're gonna go until eight o'clock. And then or wait, well what is that? Nine o'clock, sorry. And then we'll probably call this build. I'm going to finish it off stream most likely. But it has been another fun to my build. I really I do enjoy theirs. And again, it was I ended up doing a number of things kind of over, but burn is still there. Okay. It's uh, I could just do just gone. Oh, he's back. <laughs> Bernie is sleepy. <laughs> I thought it was a fun joke for the evening. All right, we need, we're doing hub carriers. They go on the side that the knuckle is on. And now we need the special kingpin screws that we're forced to use. <laughs> Sit burning on the crooked shelf. The map signal's in the way a little bit, but there. <laughs> Uh, will you post the final product on social media? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and I'm sure Moose Jaw will as well. And I, uh, someone has to, oops. And that shelf is not crooked. That is a camera angle thing. That back wall is not, is not square to the camera. And it's just how it looks. Checked it with a, with an actual level. And I showed it like the, uh, with an iPhone level on stream once. It's not crooked. Camera effect lens effect. Thank you. All right, we're get we're getting there. Um, get all these things on. Yeah, and Bernie's not really there either. <laughs> Um, everyone on YouTube now has a Bernie 3D third cast and I've seen on this. <laughs> you know what? I didn't know that. This is the first time I've seen. I just thought it would be a funny idea. Obviously not an original one. That's fine. <laughs> it was original when I initially thought of it. Getting there. That shelf is crooked. You cheated. Oh my God, these screws are just pulling it back out and pre threading the knuckles with the power drill. Because these things. I hate Phillips Head Hardware. <laughs> Who's the corner guest for <laughs> next Friday? We'll see what the internet uh, demands. Huh. We'll see what the meme of the week is. <laughs> Did you build your car shelf? Looks bad. No, that is an Ikea shelf. It is the Ikea LAC. L-A-C-K. Did Nicole quit? Yeah, pretty much. So. Oh my god, I hate. I hate their hardware so much. But once you pre thread it, it's way better. Uh, Josh just got back a few minutes ago. Is Josh still building a Temi? Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, I am. All right, one. Let's pre-thread. Make our lives easier. <laughs> Ikea means you built it, duh. Uh, yeah, I'll give you that. I'll, I'll accept that as an answer. 
Um, those were pretty easy to build and I did reinforce it a little bit when I put it together, but I don't think it was necessary or really added that much since you're just screwing into other Ikea wood that's we all know the quality of. Um, Nicole's getting coffee, yeah. I'm waiting for that pot to brew for a while. How fast can you build a VS410? Um, I did it a few weeks back. I don't remember how long it took though. Take a few hours? About as, I think I did it faster than this kit. But I didn't finish everything either. I don't remember why. Like we were using some things that already were done or it wasn't, I don't remember. Thanks for answering my questions tonight and providing cheap entertainment. Hey, thank you very much. Thanks for the donation, Mark. Appreciate it. Uh, and Ikea only used the finest MDF available. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know if it's medium density, like LDF. Just crawling, thank you. Just picked up some 1-9 trenchers. They look good. They do look good. I think they're best in um, like slab type or that, you know. Um, I So I was trying them in like dirty, muddy type stuff. Um, and it was, they were suffering. They don't clean out very well. But I think on more slab stuff like I normally crawl on, they do really well. Um, I think that that's kind of the, the key, the key to them. All right, these are on there, hub carriers on, and now I need these little specialty BB9s. So here's nine. Oh, this is just B though. Uh, that. Hello, Sapphire. All right, we're trying to find the next set of mystery parts. LED stopper. I think I've had the most trouble on this car just with the parts trees. Normally, they're not that... There it is. So this parts tree, these are it for sure. And this is A though. I, just, I don't know, whatever. I'm sure it says it correctly. I'm just seeing it incorrectly. Is this kit from Ikea? <laughs> It uses too many different screws to to be from Ikea. Okay, cat, but no, it's a different cat. This is the cat that likes me more. So now we are this set up. Goes on the back side. We're using an M by three by 15 with these remaining pivots. Hold, please. Let's, oh, nope, there we go. overhead camera that I spent all that time trying to make sure worked properly. At least we can do is try and use it. We'll figure out the, the best use for some of these. Like spitting cups out or freaking stub axles out. This is, this is an interesting Tamiya kit though. I really do like it, but it's just try and get that to stop wobble. My overhead camera is set up there. The, it's on the mount pretty rigid, but 
the mount itself will wiggle from my overhead truss. Okay, so hub carrier, knuckle, all the parts. Tamaya kits feel like plastic because Tamaya is a plastic molding company. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what you're getting with Tamaya. I mean, like, you shouldn't be surprised that it's all plastic. You know, even the bearings, not the not bearings, the bushings. And we need that cup. Overhead camera is great. Huh, that's good. Um, the JT is heavier than most. They had bad tire roll for me. Didn't go, I don't know which tires you were running on there, but yeah, the uh, JT is an interesting truck. Three hours in and we're doing the hubs. Seems the slowest kit ever. Honestly, this was a this was not a speedy kit. I'll, I will agree there. Um, the whole like adjustable rear, the whole like adjustable wheelbase portion of this, um, you know, like there's just multiple, how this all kind of went together was spacers and it's made so you can shift this thing all around. Um, there was a lot more to that. The transmission was even pretty, different on this than most of them I've done. Uh, I've definitely never built one of the M series chassis, M06 or whatever, M05, M06, any of those. So just gonna make sure that these are in there. So hopefully we can get the, oh, it says we should throw a body clip in there to retain them, which is not a bad idea. And we'll probably, I know I said I was going to just cut this off at nine, but I think what I'll do is just keep cranking since why not? I'm going to be doing it anyway. Will Bernie be giving us free vacuum machine? <laughs> Listen, it's, it's just for the meme joke. Remember, they won't let, my moderators will delete anything actually political. Okay, now we're finally bolting the hubs onto the chassis. That we need the specialty hinge pin screws. Let's want to build an odd chassis, get a Tamiya FF03. Which one is that? I don't, that does not sound familiar. Is that the, the newer one with like the weird kind of XO thing that goes around it? Um, that's because that one definitely looks different. Let's zoom out a little bit. Sorry, don't want to make anybody motion sick with the shaky camera either. I need remote zoom ability on that camera. Oh, the Honda sit. Um, how they design stream is not fixed. God. So I, I thoroughly tested the overhead camera afterwards to make sure, help figure out why that was happening. But I think I think I got it taken care of. Okay. That we need to make sure we don't forget. Oh wait, there is no drive shafts, just stub axles. 
so. And we need to build more turnbuckles. My favorite. My favorite. Okay. This is all just the bushing, so I can throw that away to get it off the bench. And clip off all of the ball cups. Double. Uh, I did get banned from Facebook for talking. Oh yes, we. There's certain things that even if I agree or disagree, there's some things that we just don't talk about in the chat for YouTube reasons. Not necessarily because I don't like talking about it or anything like that. Just these links, very tiny. And I need to, four and a half millimeters is where we gotta tighten this down. Oh wait, I need to, God. I have to cut off two millimeters of each of these. See, that's like the, the little things. It's Freaking Tamaya. So in the manual right here, it shows that I have to take these and cut off two millimeters and then close to four and a half millimeters. One. That would have sucked if I got all of those built and then realized that, that is for sure. Okay. And last one. Ah. Stupid. What about nursing home? Lot lizards and other subjects I've forgotten about. Those are all allowed. Those are uh, reasonable topics for live streams. <laughs> I hate having to cut to my parts down. You know, I just, I guess I don't even really remember having to do that. It's just, unless you have a gecko you are proud of, no more lizards. <laughs> Please, no more. That strip club names. Um, We've had lots of conversations that went way off track, but. I have a monitor I was proud I had a monitor I was proud of. Huh, never, never been much of a lizard person myself. And matching lengths, height. I think I got it. The, yeah, there we go. Okay. Eight. At least we're only doing two and not four or eight or. When I can't use my fancy rod end tools, get a little, little whiny. I don't know how that ended up in there. I think we, oh God, more lizard talk. Yeah, see, I have never had anything but dogs. Or, and now cats, I guess. <laughs> Lot lizards love hippie vans. <laughs> you know, I didn't, I don't think I would, I think I would assume differently with that. Downs. 
down to salt. Oh, I do. I guess we did have some aquarium stuff kind of in my teens and things like that. That was fun, but we never had salt water stuff. Salt water stuff's always always the cool looking stuff. That's for sure. I ask RC's question and hear all about lights. I didn't hear the RC question. I, someone will have to bring that back up. Pretty good. There. Okay, set. Let's get this on there. Um, Josh, you see that Fred from Dirt Every Day got a bomber fab bug. Did he? Wow, that does not sound like a uh, Fred type purchase. That's kind of crazy. Fred's such a his, I mean, usually he has really nice builds, but they're usually so, um, you know, fabbed up and modified versions. Of that. That's that's kind of crazy. I follow him on Instagram. I just didn't see that. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go look that up. All right. That's it. All right. So. Suspension's a little tight up here. It's just still a little tighter than I'd like. I'm guessing we can loosen that. Yep, perfect. Maybe a little more to get it good and free. Okay. I asked if actual shocks could be built without a shock tool. Um, they can. Uh, it's just, it's nice to have a set of shock shaft pliers to tighten on threads and things like that. So you don't have to try and do it with like a pair of um, pliers. But if you just have pliers and you put something soft um, on them or, or like rubber of some sort, then you wrap that in there, be able to, to grip the actual shock shaft and tighten everything on without destroying stuff so it is possible yes and i've done it a lot of times i didn't i haven't always had shock proper shock tools let's get that out here and get these little tie rods attached Do I like Ford RC cars? Um, I guess I just don't really know of many. I'm not like a big Ford person. I like Jeeps more than I guess any specific brand. And beyond that, it's just whatever ones are cool. And Fords, I guess, just haven't fallen in that very often. Uh, so no, so no mini channel lock pliers. Again, it could work fine if you protect them, protect the actual shaft. All right, that's done, that's done. Now, the bumper and the brace. Hey, F Charger TV, good to see you back. Uh, evening, next time you're up in Seattle area, you should check out the Rock Slab in Fall City if you get a chance. I will have to check that out. Um, we will be back up in the well, we, we weren't really in, I guess, the Seattle area. We were close, but we were in Olympia. Um, but we'll be back up there this spring because I'm officiating a wedding up there for our friends who we went up to meet or see this last, uh, well, in October. So I am, uh, or I got my ordained credentials, right? <laughs> so, uh, Josh, can you show us the Milwaukee toolbox? Uh, it is in the other room. I moved it out so I can move the chairs in and all that. So I don't have it handy. Um, but there'll be more on it later. Don't worry. Josh can marry people? Yep. <laughs> uh, I seriously have a pair of channel lock pliers that are only four inches long. Wow, that's kind of cool, actually.
about half hour east of Seattle. Lots of YouTube videos of the area. I'll have to go look at that. Um, oh my God, Josh the Priest. <laughs> I don't know what that, I don't know what that makes me. Uh, Josh, you're on a 300 second timeout. We don't talk about religious stuff. That's also true. <laughs> I think it was the UCF. I don't know what that what that stood for, but it was like pretty sure that's non-religious. Reverend Harley, <laughs> Doctor J. Yeah, I want to be a. I wanted to have my doctorate and. <laughs> go are you a universal life i think that is that you yeah ulc i think that's correct i don't know whatever it was it cost me like 50 bucks and that was all that was required for the state of washington so whatever it took i handled Minister, you're an ordained minister. There you go. That is what I am. Okay. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> the things you guys wouldn't have guessed. <laughs> Did I, no, I can still do that, right? Guess what I think I did again. Step is over here. We'll see, let's see. I need shock tower, which is this. Um, there you go. Uh, I know because I'm one as well. So Josh can marry people on a road in Washington. <laughs> Yes. Yep. I'll marry you for 50 bucks. Certifi certificate included. <laughs> are RC trucks involved in the ceremony? No. Uh, my friends are not um, RC people. They, I don't believe that they have ever had any. My, my friend Nick, whose wedding it is, I lived with him when I first moved here. So that is the only, that's his only contact with actual. We're pre-threading these. <laughs> Josh, don't crash a drone into the salty ocean. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I will say that it was not me who was flying the drone when it crashed and he, my brother wasn't either. It was just his drone. That's the difference. Okay. Um, thank you, Nick, for letting Josh live with you. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Worked out pretty, pretty well. He was a good roommate. Will you be taking an RC with you? I don't know. It's pro I'm guessing that that trip's going to be uh, pretty busy, being that it's a wedding. Whoops. I didn't even take a RC um, for uh, my wedding. I'm also a minister of Dudism. Printed frame certificate. <laughs> Let me. There we go. Uh, you know you can marry. You know you can marry people as well. The Rock. <laughs> Cardinal John. Oh my God. Come on, trying to trying to find the screw. 
Only thing stopping me from starting a charity tax free is morals. Yeah. There we go. Uh, found Moose Jaw on IG. Now I know where to look for updates. Yes, and I'll, I'll post one and then I'll make sure to uh, tag him as well. So, is that a tube of Tamiya Grease? <laughs> Send it to me if you're not using it. Uh, it definitely is, but uh, it's definitely going back in the box with the rest of the stuff to Moose Jaw. So. Yes, you're getting a real close look at the backside of that motor. Pope Josh Paul the first. <laughs> Have you awarded 50k yet? Nope. You'll know when I do. You'll see the build finished and the announcement and everything. I won three dollars and two free tickets. Well, we didn't quite hit that 70%, but no. I'm glad the axial coin worked for you. Yeah. For your scratchers. But maybe um the two free tickets will have something. Yeah, you never know. Two more chances, right? Yeah. Still doing this? I am. Yeah. Is this show still on? So, all right. Now, this part is done. So the good news is, is that I just have to assemble the Tamiya friction dampers. And... I'm being paged. Yeah. Sorry. Sookie is paging. Sookie's calling. C12, C6, 6, or is that a 9? Yeah, that's 6. Sometimes it's kind of nice when shocks actually kind of suck in a kit because then they go together so quickly. <laughs> uh, yeah. So there's that. C5s are these guys. There, C sevens are these. Um, C fifteen. Okay, and that should be all. Now, the rear coil spring. Does it say what color or anything like that? It does. There's two different ones. Are they different lengths? We'll see. Well, they're different lengths. Are, are they? I should see that. Let's see. Yes, slightly shorter. Guessing that the, I don't know, who knows? Um, F Charger TV, thank you, sir. Er, okay, new segment idea. I'll send these Method 310s and Rock Beast to you, mount them, because I'm about to give up. And yes, using the brass clamper. Um, do you have any of the longer 3 8 inch 440 hardware? Because that's that's a good way if you're having too much. You can start them with that longer hardware and get it kind of going, check it in. Or you can send them and I'll mount them. Um, I'm really just trying to see if it tells me what freaking color is supposed to be in which one? It's got to be the firmer one, right? Where all the weight is, weight is, so it's got to be these. Gold on the rear. Yep, okay, there we go. So let's get these lined up. Like that. Clip through. Then we've got that then twist and snap and now you have a handy to my friction damper and switch to my friction shocks for oil filled metal body shock. Uh, yeah, I could definitely see that, but you know, being that this one is such a 
for style build. Who knows? <laughs> Dang, for you to be done. But I, you know what? I should have been, but being that I was not, you know, sometimes I'm looking at the chat and not, not a hundred percent paying attention. I ended up redoing some steps a few times in a few places, but it's okay. It's actually a very fun kit though. Oh, did I, I forgot the body. You realize how much chat slows down. Uh, it's a BW bus, not a BMW. <laughs> All right. We're getting close to the end on this, though. Where's that? Bam. Um, in and out, five guys. Urgh. I would probably say I actually prefer five guys over in and out. I just mainly because you can get jalapenos at five guys, though. That's my biggest thing. You can't get it at in and out. They have chilies, but not jalapenos. They're just like, eh. And in and out. What tires are going on that? Uh, the tires that it comes with. Whatever that is. Uh, will Josh hold a Sunday live stream? I mean Sunday services. <laughs> yes, there will be a um, Sunday stream still. Even though STL Sunday is canceled, there will still be a... Uh, there will still be a live stream in its place. I will not be calling it Sunday services for respect for people who respect that. <laughs> and I'm going to, in three, I'm just pre threading. Man, these plastics are kind of thin. So, you can see like where some real, uh, some real torture might have a, have a, some negative side effects on these. Grabbing more of the kingpin style screws and my screwdriver right there. Thin plastics. <laughs> so easy on speed bumps. Now I guess these are technically machined screws, so pre-threading is not as effective, but still probably helps. At least it's so convenient to get to. Very soft plastic. On. Yeah, the arms are actually a whole different type of these. Like these trees um, are some different plastic for compared to just like these trees. And you can actually even see it in the sheen. It's a little bit more matte uh, versus is glossy here. Um, but yeah, this, like, which was the arms and things like that, this is very squishy. And this is, you know, just super, I don't know, different. Very different. Huh. Video, holy shit, still going. Tune back in just in time to listen to the power driver on blast. <laughs> You're welcome. You're we See, sometimes people are like, why aren't you using the power driver? Other times, God, power driver. Has there been any ranger bashing tonight? Not tonight. I actually haven't even had the, uh, haven't even had that song stuck in my head for several hours. So, so that there's a bonus there too. That video of that half track or tracked ranger that I had reposted on Instagram was freaking hilarious.
That's why it doesn't make their uh, make all their parts trees of the same plastic anymore. Yeah, I, I mean, you can definitely tell the difference between that. Josh does love his Ford Rangers. Ford Ranger. That and we need to put this one on the inside, but we also need a B8 spacer. So find where those are. There, right. Well, that's six and that's ten. Where's eight? Right there. Got it. Uh, where we find the video of the semi. Okay. Man, how do they? I guess I should have done the bottom first. Does it say that? Attach lower end first in small end text right there. I need a JIS attachment for my power drill. Yeah, <clears throat> we are we are likely going to call it soon. Very annoying. Definitely should have got this bit out a long time ago. <sighs> so annoying sometimes. Stupid Tamaya. And do it our way. I swear to God, you can barely even get to it when you're doing it first. This is some weird. Weird. Oh. Ow. Are we having fun yet? Oh, we're having fun. But it's it's so close to that roller status and the body's done. So it's like, I want to, I want to stab myself in the hand with a screwdriver head because that would make it more fun. Got it. Hey, Josh, Nicole needs some cheese for his wine. Mike J. Mike J, 300 second timeout. Did it come with seven extra connectors? <laughs> Bonus connectors. Okay. We have one shock on. Okay. We're calm. We're calming. This is cal this is fun. We're we're calm. Woosa. I feel like after I get these rear shocks on, I'm going to get the wheels and tires out and to set the body on it and show you guys what it looks like. Maybe I won't. Maybe it'll just be in picture. Oh, don't forget the spacer. God forbid. Enjoy, enjoying my coffee calmer than you. It's okay. It's just I'm so excited because we're getting to the end and I do really want to see what this chassis looks like with this body. Because this body is rad. Moose Jaw, you did a very good job on it. It's very impressive looking. Come on, you little. I need a ball end screwdriver. Does anyone have a ball end Phillips? 
And tell, like, I don't know how they expect you. Do you see that Phillips head right there? Let me, where's it at? Like, see the amount of clearance they're trying to give you to get a screwdriver onto that with it attached. Is ball and JAS a thing? I, I don't think so. I'm just, I, that's what I need right now. <laughs> if it's not, and I don't know how it's not for Tamaya, because you freaking need it. James, the body looks awesome. Only reason I tuned into the live stream. What? James, I'm disappointed. All right. Josh can mill one. Okay. So we've got, oh, those, those super, it's amazing how much slop there is in the, without any preload adjustment. That's all just sag, basically. It's going to need that. <laughs> it's going to need that. But then it's got the suspension. So of course, Moosh. Yeah, thanks, Moosh. Not going to lie. Kind of glad you're doing this. Sure would be swearing like a sailor. Well, I appreciate the opportunity because it was fun to build. And hey, I had all the hardware already. So we got, we got nice hardware in all of the places where standard hardware will allow. All right, we're so close anyway. I'm just going to keep banging through this. I can't, I can't not. Um, we don't appear to need any of that. Where, where art, where art thou? M3 by 14, should be the same ones, correct? Yes. Um, nope. Longer, there we go. Hold. I need four of these though. Oh, no, I don't. I need two of those and then two of these super long ones. These M3 by 18s. Hey, Jefferson State. Thank you, sir. Uh, thanks to Moose's Instagram, it reminded me to show up. Should we send this 4 dollars to him? <laughs> Thank you very much. Popping in, saying hello. So we use these long ones on the bottom arms. Let me guess. Do those first. Uh, doesn't say on this one. Probably because you can actually reach them. What Allen key is, what Allen key is a Tamaya kit? What? No such thing. Actually, I think there was a hex head on one of the set screws. That was it. I don't even know if they included it. Middle screw first on those. Things. The one in the middle. Wouldn't surprise me on a Tamaya if there was a screw in the middle. Now the lower. I don't know why this one's so long. It might be because of that more flexible plastic. I don't know. There we go. And. Tamaya uses one five and two and occasionally two five on what? All right. Front shocks done all that. 
This is how to install electronics. And now we're on to tires and wheels. I see you're st still at it. Still at it. Josh just got home from work 1130 and Valparaiso, Indiana. You got the book. Yeah, I just I like to open it at least. I don't know why these were in two different colors. One feels, these are much softer. Rears are much firm. Hmm. Gonna venture, let's see, does it say? Rear tire S grip, front tire. Um, so the rears are that soft? That's fine. Where are the wheels? Where's the back of wheels? Did I leave it in something? No. There they are. Soft for the rear. Hmm. I guess just for the traction, yes, but just what I thought with all the weight. Now, double check. Offsets are the same. I think the TTO2RR uses all hex head hardware and it's not a TRF kit. Interesting. It's such a drastic difference in tire compound too. Um, oh, they, can, they included the performance line of tires, S grip and M grip, as opposed to the standard M series tires. Nice. Huh. Not something I was aware of, but man, what a huge difference in uh, in the compound. Like these just feel normal. These are like just super soft. All right. Do those tires require gluing? Uh, I would say yes, but I'll tell you who doesn't glue. Oh, glue is only required if you're racing or driving hard. Yeah. Well, like the uh, the to my the dancing rider, it says right in the manual, do not glue tires. Psh, not gonna fight me. Oh. Inner sponge. These say that they have tire foams. I bet that's what this is here. Huh. I've never seen Tamiya tire foam. I've never had a, I guess I've never ran one of the Tamiya's with foam. Like the Fat Fox didn't have it. Hmm. Interesting. Josh, we all know you don't glue tires or paint things. True story. So let's see how this uh, flat foam stuff works. That's... It's a fight to get all of it in there, but you can get it to line up. So yeah, why not? I think with how soft this tire, this, compound is. Uh, I get that the foam is a good idea. I guess the, the difference is, is that the normal Tamiya tires I'm used to seeing 
definitely not that soft. Like someone was saying, the performance line of Tamiya tires. Just not something I've heard of before. Even my super heavy semi <laughs> didn't didn't have a tire foam. <laughs> Matt's here. Good God, it takes me this long to it takes me this long to build a Tamiya kit. Shh. Yes, Tamiya kits. I mean, it took Matt quite a while to build a CCO two. I do remember, but. Matt leaves out the other step of, of live builds, though, which is the entertaining part. Matt, Matt, oh, you cashed, so you, you got your money back out of it. You've, Matt said he'd, he'd won poker games the last couple of weeks, and I was like, well, you better not win it again. They're not going to let you back. Unless he just couldn't help himself. I still have to take the time. All right. Those are the rears. Let's put some. We don't have, but we do have the Tamaya elect electrics but no servo or anything like that. So I'm going to leave that part out for now. Right. Wait, there's entertainment. <laughs> Wait, who brought entertainment? I'm usually an entertainment killer. <laughs> Okay. Hex on. There we go. Now we need to find the bag with wheel nuts here. close to seeing this thing with the body, which is all I want to see. Because this body looks too good. All right. Hex pen, 12 millimeter hex. We did both, yeah. Couldn't remember already. I'm getting tired. Um, Josh, that bomber buggy is Randy Slauson's wife's buggy. I do apologize. For oh, okay. Makes more sense though. All right. So rear appropriately styled wheels. Yes. Quickly, some foams in these. Man, we have a priest and a poker player in the street. I don't think Matt has heard that I am now an ordained minister of the UCF, since I will be, uh, what, what am I doing? Administering a marriage? No, that's not the right word. Whatever. Hosting? No. What? what? I can't even remember. I don't even know what I'm doing now. Officiating. Thank you, Musha. Oh, Jesus. I do not know how I could not come up with that. I do know. It's a little... <laughs> Dang, she's my future. Why? She just don't know. You're talking about Jennifer Tilly, Jesse.
All right. One more down. You can also do funerals. What? Why do you have to have anybody for a funeral? I don't. I didn't know that you needed anybody. How do? You, how does a funeral have to be legal? Can't you just have some people around and say sad stuff or happy stuff? Officiating more like needing a thousand retakes. <laughs> It'll be good. Now I know how you get paid. Oh, God. Uh, where were you find for happy priest? You have fifth. I'm guessing that means I need, I need alcohol. I need to carry alcohol. <laughs> Josh and Matt, stepbrothers too. <laughs> Call me Nighthawk. Did you touch my drum set? Did you touch my tool set? Tell you what, not a fan of flat foam. This is bull. So is the test multiple choice. Huh. Did we just become best friends? It's best friends, Jesse. Did we just become best friends? Yup. Uh, just got here. Did you have problems with the shock oil? I did. I, it won't stay in the shocks. Just all over the ground. Did you touch my ripper? <laughs> right. No. Oh. oh, bastard. Yeah. Okay. Last hex is on. Hex. You're supposed to glue the ends together before installing the phone. Yeah, but uh, also he has to glue the tires together if he's going to choose to do that. It's up to him. I did see that note and I'm just ignoring it. <laughs> How are you going to <laughs> invoke Prima Nocta at the wedding? <laughs> oh my God. I approve of office references. Okay. Now, technically there's a whole section on just body mount, like the specific body post for this thing. If I built this for the wrong wheelbase, I will freak. The slammed, the, a dub, Moose Jaw, you, got, you have to have it down here. You have to have it riding like that, because that would make it great. That's pretty cool. Uh, the good thing is, is that the body posts and all that, I could put that on, but I think that would mean like body holes and things like that, which I'm not doing for sure. Um, but that looks slick. I mean, especially if you did, you got it nice. You know, I think it's supposed to ride probably something like that. But I mean, slammed wheelbase. Oh, yeah. Or slammed ride wheelbase, Matt is asking, um, is nine and a quarter. Or so, something like that. Oh, I said wheelbase. Okay, that's what I meant. Ride height. Moose job, make it so. Oh, the rear tires aren't centered. They should be now. Close enough. Yes. Anyway, we're going to call this because this is what we were here for. Granted, I could have just put the wheels and tires under there and set the bottom, uh, but do the floaties. Yeah, get the, uh, the 
Super Scale 2020. Super rad. Now it needs bags. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, just you go. So great work on the body, Moose Jaw. Fun build. Um, I'm gonna do some cleanup, finalizing, mount. I gotta mount like the battery strap, all that kind of stuff. Um, but that's it. Hit the like button before you guys leave. Click that button. Hit it. And see you guys Sunday. Come join Sunday. I don't know. We're just gonna kind of do some stuff. I don't know what yet, but uh, I'll get some good photos of this too before it <coughs> moves on and that's it. So Moose Jaw, we will hook up probably this weekend. Later guys.